Shri Bhattrai sir, uh, our executive uh, student happiness, uh, Mr. Devendra Acharya sir, our uh, executive academic affair, Ms. Uh, Sushma Kharka, and all the participants and attendees present today. Thank you so much uh, for gracing us with your presence today. So as you can see by the title already, uh, this presentation is all about a virtual tour title around uh, around the world in seven days. Uh, so to be specific, it is about a virtual food world tour. So we are here to take you all on an adventure like you've never seen before. So please buckle up because you're definitely in for a ride. So before we um, officially uh, start the presentation on behalf of the whole class, uh, I would like to extend uh, my acknowledgement to our very own Ravi sir for mentoring and teaching us invaluable, I mean, sorry, valuable techniques and strategies that helped us uh, to bring this presentation to life. The, so basically, the main objective of this tour is to let you all experience a virtual tour uh, all across the globe. So I really hope the, all of you enjoy it thoroughly. So basically, uh, what you can look forward to in this whole presentation uh, today uh, is so there are a total of uh, seven teams. We are a total of seven teams and we'll be exploring seven different countries. And each team represents a country that they'll be explore as a team. So uh, in each country, we'll go on a long day tour where we'll be visiting uh, five different restaurants from five different states within the same country. And uh, we'll be reviewing and analyzing food items from breakfast to uh, dinner. So uh you know then we've also created uh the nutrient content you know how much uh the food uh, individual food how much nutrients individual food contains and all of that nutritional values uh and then we've uh also done uh, the charts of the respective nutrients so we've uh, made a lot of uh, pie charts and pie diagrams to uh so for making all of you easier to analyze uh, the nutrient charts as well. So now, uh, moving on with the presentation. So talking about, uh, let's say, uh, macro elements, uh, vitamins and minerals. So what is uh, macro elements? So macro elements are the minerals of which the body needs more amount and are more important than any other elements. Uh, they are the chemical element that have a minimal daily requirement greater than uh, 100 mg and they contain uh, protein. So they include they include many different uh, uh, okay, they, they include many different nutrients, uh, among which uh, some of our uh, protein, uh, carbohydrate, fat, fiber, and sugar. So now talking about minerals, basically minerals help our bodies develop and function. They are essential for good health, knowing about different minerals and what they can do uh, to help you to make sure you get enough of the minerals that you need. So they include calcium, iron, potassium, uh, sodium, and magnesium, to name a few. So my team members are... Uh, my team members are Mr. Chiring Namgyal Gurung, Ms. Samjana Shrestha, uh, Ms. Dawa Jammu Sherpa, and Mr. Uh, Sanam Kale. So moving on with the presentation, this is the whole itinerary of the tour. So as you can see from the uh, uh, slide, uh, we start our day from uh, USA and then we end our day uh, finally in Nepal. So we'll be exploring a lot of places and a lot of cities as well. Uh, so now... This So this is the whole slide. So this was like a quick overview of how we'll be uh, conducting this whole uh, virtual tour. So we start from USA and then we move to Brazil, then to France, then to South Africa, then Australia, and then Indonesia. And then finally, we end our uh, tour to uh, in Nepal, our home country. So uh, now we start our day uh, by looking at the itinerary of the day in USA. So as you can see, our we first there's breakfast, then lunch, snacks, dinner, and dessert. So this is the itinerary of the whole tour. Uh, the, and these are the restaurants that we'll be exploring as a team, uh, as a team of uh, seven uh, uh, that will be, uh, you know, going and then trying the food and exploring the cities as well. And I also like uh, the Polaroid pictures because I think it, this is a really nice way of uh, collecting memories, you know, of the whole tour. So this is a really nice way. And that's that. So now let's start off uh, our presentation. So finally, uh, we landed at the Portland International Airport, which is located in Oregon. You know, as you can see, the infrastructure, it's very beautiful. So we all were very mesmerized by the architecture and, and the, all the lightings and stuff. So this was a very good uh, site to see. Um, so from there, from Porta International Airport, after we landed there, we were very hungry and we wanted to eat something really quick because we uh, we had a long flight 
and it was a we landed there pretty early in the morning so we wanted to grab something really quick so we took a cab from the airport uh, and the tab took, uh, cab took us to the waffle window uh, uh, in like in 19 20 minutes it was a really quick ride so we went to the waffle window and after reaching there after doing some research in google we found out that they serve really good waffles and pancakes i mean as the name suggests waffle window so i mean obviously their waffles must be good so we uh, decided to uh, order some waffles and pancakes so after our uh, after we asked uh, the waiter there the server there what sh we should uh, try among the waffles because there were like 100 varieties of waffles so uh, he suggested that we go for strawberry waffles and to uh, you know uh, elevate more flavor and to experience more uh, food uh, experience more uh, flavors of the place we should uh, also order pancakes because apparently it's their mo the best seller so these two were the best sellers so we ordered this and we ate this and we had the best time because the food was very good and as you can see from the picture it looks very appealing as well and then we had after the breakfast we had the breakfast we were so full uh, so we decided to do some research so i mean one of the members mr sanam gale is uh, pretty uh, health conscious is very uh, diet conscious so we did some google research to find out you know to see the protein content the calcium content you know vitamins and also we found this table we collected the data from uh, our uh, internet uh, source uh, google so we found out this uh, table so as you can see all the data and then uh, on the basis of this table we created the chart so as you can see the comparison charts of macro elements so in strawberry waffles and pancakes, as you can see, the protein uh, in uh, strawberry waffles is higher and the carbohydrate in strawberry waffles is even higher. So as you can see, uh, this chart uh, clearly depicts uh, which uh, breakfast to go for if you're a, a health conscious uh, person. So moving on with the presentation, as you can see, uh, same, similarly, we did a uh, comparison of minerals. So this uh, can be, it can also, this chart also shows that uh, the calcium content in uh, strawberry waffles is higher, the sodium content in uh, strawberry waffles is higher. So, you know, so we did a lot of research and we uh, decided to make some charts for, to make uh, it easier for our viewers uh, to make uh, decisions, you know, regarding dietary plans. So similarly, the composition of vitamins so uh, in both the waffles and pancakes uh, the vitamin so it looks like the vitamin a is uh, in a really high volume than vitamin c so that is all from for the uh, vitamin uh, charts aspect so after that after we did some research and after we uh, had a very heavy breakfast we decided to explore a little more so we did some google research again and then we found out there's a, a national park uh, which is located like five and five, four and five hours away from the waffle window. So we uh, rented a car and then we uh, went on a long road trip because we really wanted to see this place. So we went to the Greater National Park here. And then we, after going there, we, you know, very amazing view. And then it's located at the Cascade Mountains of the South, Southern Oregon. And it is also no, known for its namesake, Crater Lake, formed by the now collapsed uh, volcano Mount Mazama. And then uh, Wizard Island, as you can see in the picture, Wizard Island uh, is a cinder cone uh, near the western edge of the lake. And the Rim Drive uh, road surrounding the lake offers view of the parks, a volcanic formation. So there's a long road uh, along the side of the uh, uh, lake. So you can have a really nice uh, drive there. And we had the best time. We had the best time uh, driving there. So uh, that was all about uh, the breakfast. And that was all about the uh, tour we had. So now I'd like to call Mr. Chilling to uh, explain his uh, presentation. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Abhishek. So, is my audio clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So first of all, good morning to everybody, uh, everyone. Uh, so as Abhishek has already described about the breakfast and the way we reached to the crater lake and how we did our sightseeing in the crater lake. After uh, sightseeing at crater lake, we moved back to our 
Portland Airport. So from uh, Portland Airport, we have to move for the lunch after the sightseeing. We were quite hungry, so we need to get uh, get ready for the lunch. So we took a flight of three hour and 40 minutes to O'Hare International Airport from Portland Airport. Can you change the slide, please? So this was the O'Hare International Airport. Can you change the slide? So from the airport, we, uh, we took a cab um, to our travel where we are we were planning to have a lunch so um it took like 45 minutes to reach from airport to our, our travel so we heard that there was uh the burger over there was really famous so we wanted to taste so we moved there so it took like 41 minutes to reach there so we had ham cheeseburger and fry our second store at travel it's uh, located at Chicago and Illinois. We ordered cheeseburger and French fries. The, the taste of, of burger, cheeseburger and French fry was so nice. And it was so different than we used to have usual in our own locality. So after we had the French fry and the hamburger, or uh, sorry, cheeseburger over there, we wanted to know the nutrition contents and micronutrition contents of it. So we did some research. From a research, we found out, uh, we found out that uh, these were the micro element content, minerals and vitamin contents. These are all given below. And we have made it on a pie chart also so that it would be easier for the viewers to how, uh, know how much minerals or the nutrition it contains. So this is of a micro elements, composition of micro elements in the pie chart. So next one, please. So this one is a composition of minerals. Next one, please. So this one is a composition of vitamins. So after we had a lunch and so we were quite full and then we did some research and rest for a few minutes and after that we did some city tour and this uh, city tour so we took a big bus chicago which was famous for hip on uh, hop on hop off tour it, uh, it was for two hours and the price for per person was 26.10 dollar per person so with that bus that provide us the um, mapped out itinerary of a city top site with several strategically located stops. So um, it was like open roof bus of two stairs and they provide us a facility like audio guide and live bus tracking. And it was really nice and we visited uh main sites like millennium park the magnificent mile and grand park you see so we had really great time great food great food and a great place to visit thank you that's all for the lunch so i'd like to hand over it back to abhishek Thank you so much, uh, Chiring, for your wonderful, wonderful presentation. Now I'd like to call uh, Miss uh, Susmita, uh, Son sorry, Sanjana Shrestha to give her presentation. Thank you, Abhishek. Good afternoon, my respected teacher and everyone present here in the virtual floor. Uh, after having a lunch, we decided to have a snack. Uh, so we have so we landed safely to Cincinnati, Cincinnati from the O'Hare International Airport, which was a flight of the one hour and 15 minutes. And we have safely landed to Cincinnati. We traveled by the taxi for about 34 minutes from the airport to Chicken Fila restaurant. It was our third stop where we had a plan to have our snacks. Next slide, please. 
uh, after reaching the chicken village restaurant, after a few minutes of discuss, we decided to order the chicken deluxe sandwich and the chicken nugget. And um, we ordered it. When we received our order on the table, the chicken deluxe sandwich looked like a burger. So we asked the waiter about it and he described it as special snacks from the restaurant, which looked like a burger, but actually it was a chicken deluxe sandwich. It was so delicious. Uh, when we finish our snacks and we settle our bill and we leave from by the thanking thanking them for a such a delicious snacks and moving towards the next slide as you can see the table content nutrition value we have some brochures and uh, we have uh, composed this table uh, by researching by the google and we have a healthy talk about it and after that, we have consist a uh, uh, pie chart of, and here is a composition of the micro elements of the chicken nugget and the de deluxe sandwich. And uh, another one is the composition of the minerals. And here is a composition of vitamin, and there is a vitamin C and the A. After the healthy discuss, we went to Cincinnati Zoo and the Botanical Garden to enjoy the environment and the view. From where we, we take a cab of the 13 minutes. And we reached to Cincinnati uh, Zoo and the Botanical Garden. The Cincinnati Zoo and the Botanical Garden is the sixth oldest zoo in the United States, opened in the 1873. Uh, the zoo and the botanical garden was a, so amazing where there was a 500 animals, over the 500 animals and the uh, 3000 plant species. Now there were so beautiful plants and uh, we enjoy the view over there. And we will have our uh, discuss about the snacks and uh, healthy discuss. We have a look for the animals and the flowers. There are so beautiful views and take some photos. And this was our uh, beautiful day. Thank you. Uh, over to you, Abhishek. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Samjana, for a wonderful presentation. And she actually forgot to mention that she finished almost three chicken deluxe sandwiches because she was so hungry. Uh, she may look small, but she has a great appetite. So that was a wonderful presentation. Thank you so much, Samjana. So moving on, uh, now I'd like to call upon uh, Dawa Jammu Sherpa to explain uh, her part of the presentation. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. After having, after having snacks, we all decided to go on a road trip for one hour, 40 minutes for our dinner in Columbus. As soon as we reached to our destination, we all were so hungry, we went to the restaurant nearby and decided to have our dinner. After entering to the restaurant, one of the attentive and smart waitress named Yuki welcomed us, took us to the table, and they provided us the menu. After a quick look, after a quick sorry look on the menu, we decided to have meatloaf for our dinner, which goes with the beer. The food was great with lots of flavor, and another plus point, the service was amazing. Next, please. As per the research here, I would like to present some of the nutritional value of the food that I had. Next slide. And this is the composition of, uh, and these are the composition of my food, composition of macro elements. Next slide. Composition of minerals. Next slide. And the composition of vitamins. And after having our uh, yummy, yummy uh, dinners, it was a very, <clears throat> it was a very bit <clears throat> in a very beautiful restaurant nearby Columbus City. And after having dinner, we all decided to visit Columbus City, which was a very beautiful place. And if you're looking for memorable things to do in Columbus, their tours are not to be missed. Experience the best Columbus and Central OU with one of the unique city <clears throat> excursions. They offered us the bus van based on walking tours of Columbus for individuals or group. Their offerings includes bus tour, downtown, and the surrounding historical neighborhoods. 
special interest tours and walking tours of the German villages. Explore Colobos with city tour focusing on art and architecture icons, and they also satisfy our needs with personalized private tour. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dawa, for your wonderful, wonderful presentation. And I can uh, see the same enthusiasm and the same you know, excitement when you had um, touring around the Columbus city, because I remember you being so excited about seeing all the skyscrapers and all the cities and all the people, because uh, you're someone who likes to socialize with people. So you loved being there and it's very evident. So thank you so much, Dawa. So now I'd like to call upon uh, Mr. Uh, Chiring, um, sorry, uh, Sanam Ghali to further explain his presentation. Thank you. Um, thank you, Abhishek. So after we did some uh, Columbus City tour, uh, we wanted to have some dessert. Uh, so we immediately took a flight from Columbus Airport to the JFK Airport in New York. Um, we did some research and found out that the Ailey's uh, special cheesecake uh, was the best place to have some dessert. Uh, so we went there. Um, next. Uh, the John F. Kennedy Airport was uh, really busy when we landed. And later we knew that the airport was one of the busiest airport. Um, so uh, we were... Uh, we wanted to uh, go straight to the uh, Ailey's... Uh, we wanted to go straight to the uh, uh, cheesecake place, so we drove uh, twenty. Uh, we drove uh, for an hour to go there. Um, after we went there, uh, we saw the place was really pretty, and the waiter uh, suggested that we uh, uh, we have a New York style cheesecake and a red velvet cake. The both cakes were really uh, delicious, but uh, I especially like the New York style cheesecake as it was a really delicious and flavorful. Um, and if you ever find yourself in New York, I definitely recommend you to try the New York style cheesecake of this place. Um, after we had some uh, desserts, uh, we wanted to look at the nutritional values of them. Uh, and we did some research and we created this table uh, that contained the nutritional values of all the, of the two dishes that we had. Uh, and to further understand the table, uh, we created the charts uh, through which we could understand uh, better. Now, let's looking at the comparison of micro elements, uh, we can see that the red velvet had, had, had more protein, more carbs, more fat, more fiber, and more sugar. And looking at the comparison of the minerals, um, uh, in, in the minerals as well, the red velvet had more calcium, more potassium, more sodium, and more magnesium. Um, now, let's look through the uh, composition of vitamins. Um, these two cakes had only uh, vitamin A and vitamin D, with maximum of, of vitamin A with 96.7%, and, uh, and vitamin D with only 3.3%. Uh, after we had our desert, uh, we... Uh, we were already in the New York City, so we wanted to. We didn't wanted to miss out the Times Square, as it was only 19 minutes away from the Cheesecake Place. Uh, the Times Square was really vibrant, uh, with uh, many colors, many lights, and there and many billboards all across the place. Uh, this place has many shops, uh, and if you are uh, if you are a, a person who loves shopping, then it is really a place for you. Um, it was quite crowded though, but we had a really great time. We clicked some photos and we bought some souvenirs as well. And we went to the hotel afterwards. And me being a really health conscious person, uh, wanted to look, look through the... Uh... Next slide, please. Uh, me being a health conscious person, uh, wanted to know the total calories intake uh, that we had throughout the day. Uh, as we had a heavy meal, heavy meals throughout the day, and in this chart we can see that uh, in breakfast we had twenty three point five percent, in lunch we had nineteen point five percent, in snacks we had maximum with thirty five point three percent, and in dinner with five point three percent, and in dessert with sixteen point four percent. Thank you. 
thank you so much, Sanam. So, you know, he mentioned that he's a very health conscious person. He uh, looks after his diet, but, uh, you know, I feel like he's lying because I remember him devouring three slices, not one, but three different slices of uh, the New York style cheesecake. And he almost did not share it with us, but we insisted that he did. So, you know, so that that was a fun experience. So after that, we uh, had the loveliest time. We end our day uh, in New York uh, and we had the best time here because I feel like, you know, the city of lights, the New York City, I think it really lived up to my expectations and we had the best time here. So we created a lot of memories. So uh, thank you so much, guys, for coming with us to this uh, virtual tour uh, of the USA. So now let me pass the stage to another team and they'll take you to another country and then they'll share their experience that they uh, experienced as a team. Thank you so much. So, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our virtual tour. <laughs> virtual tour. Uh, so today is the day two of our tour, and my teammates had decided to go Brazil for a tour. So next slide, please. There are five team members, and there are Somiksha. Nissel, Akriti, Artal, and Unisa. So, and they will be touring some places of Brazil and also they will try some foods in Brazil. So to begin, the, so they will begin the day by having breakfast and end the day by having dessert in some restaurants. So next slide, please. Now, Samiksa, you can start your presentation. Thank you so much, Tawa Torsi. Am I audible? Yes, yes Am I audible right now? Yes, thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. I am Samik Shabatrai, and today I will be sharing the experience we had on the breakfast table in Brazil. Earlier today, we were in America, but within 10 hours, we reached South Africa. Coming to the next slide, the name of the airport we were in was Aeroporto Santos Dumont Rio de Janeiro. Perks of perks of speaking Spanish. So we were so excited as soon as we reached South Africa. We were super excited to explore South African cuisine. And after a vast research on just the place to try our breakfast in. Now on the next slide, yes. The name of the place that we collectively chose was Cultivar. It was famous for its ethnic food, just what we wanted. So we went on a half hour of drive and we reached the Cultivar restaurant. The first thing we had was Pau de Quail. It means Brazilian cheese bread. They were so yummy and the best part about those breads, guess what? They were gluten free. The bread was rubbery, but turns out that it was exactly the way it was supposed to be. It was very cheesy, and who doesn't like cheese, right? So the next thing we had, we ordered was acai na tajala. It was a dish made with the frozen and mashed uh, fruit of the acai palm. It had an earthy and creamy taste. The texture was dense, but as soon as we had our breakfast, it turned out a Saina Tajala was a Brazilian dessert. But dessert and breakfast, who would have thought it would have made a great combo? Now, talking about the compositions, as you can see clearly on the table uh, on your screen, the table of um, composition of macro elements minerals and vitamins and today i will be and now i will be explaining you the composition of these breakfast we had so on the next slide we have a composition of macro element i have a bar diagram on your screen and protein protein was 
very high in powdery quail in comparison to carbs, for, uh, fat, fiber, and sugar. Asina Taijala also had uh, had carbs. It had carbs. Uh, it had carbs. Uh, it had carbs um, ma maximum in comparison to protein, fat, fiber, and sugar. Now, on the next slide, we I'm going to talk about the composition of minerals. As you can clearly see, powdery quail uh, had a maximum amount of sodium, and in Asina Taijala, there was a maximum amount of uh, potassium found. Uh, sodium and magnesium were nearly nil uh, in Asina Taijala, and in powdery quail, iron was very less. Talking now, ta moving on to the next. Last slide, we have a composition of vitamins, A, B, C, and D. Powdy quail had E, vitamin A, and it was just a little bit of vitamin B found in powdy quail. And in Asina Tajala, vitamin E and vitamin C were found. Thank you. Back to you, Dawadorji. Thank you, Samiksha. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So now to begin further, I would like to call Nisha. Thank you, Dao Toji. Um, first of all, I, I would like to say uh, good afternoon um, to everyone. Um, today I'm going to uh, share my memories of Brazil, which I have experienced uh, while traveling from <clears throat> Altivar to Davino Polish uh, for lunch. So after having cheesy bread and beautifully prepared uh, travel sanitizer, um, eager and hunger for food were uh, silenced for the early day to morning. Uh, restaurant uh, which is located near Davino Police, was the second destination or launch station for the day. However, driving distance between Cultivar and Davino Police is 451 km, uh, which takes an average time of 6 hours and 16 minutes. Uh, so we took an alternative airway, which was um, least time consuming as well as convenient. The plane took off from Aeroporta Santos to Mont Rio de Janeiro and landed in Belo Horizonte International Airport. The flight time was nearly an hour. It took around 33 minutes to reach the restaurant from the airport by cab. The restaurant name is Restaurante Fijuada, uh, which is located in a relaxed atmosphere just a few meters from Ipanema Beach. It has been offering the dish for almost 30 years, from Monday to Monday, both for lunch and dinner. The most interesting part is they welcome you with growth, mineral, sauces, alcoholic lemon, and passion fruit sake. So we ordered Fijiada and Brazilian colored greens for the lunch, which was flagship as a main dish. Fijiada is basically bean stew with beef and pork native to South American countries. Yet Brazi Brazilian Fijiada is prepared with black beans. It was originated from Portugal and is the national dish of Brazil. Similarly, polar are the members of cabbage family and taste like a cross between cabbage and kale. In Brazil, polar greens are a must with feijoada. The service of restaurant was impressive as same as the ambience. <clears throat> Next slide, please. So the chart visible in the screen is the chart from which I took reference to, the, to explain the given diagram below. Next slide, please. Talking about the composition of uh, macro elements, Fijiada is <clears throat> mostly contains protein, which is followed by carbs and fat. Uh, fiber and sugar content are minimum. In terms of Brazilian green, polar green carb, Content is in its maximum, followed by fiber and protein. Sugar and fat content is very low. 
Next slide, please. The disease contains very large amount of sodium, which is 75.4 percent, nearly one by fourth of the mineral content in potassium, which is 24.4 percent, followed by very least amount of iron, which is 0 0.2 percent. Only vitamin A and C are present in the dishes. Com composition of vitamin A is 94% uh, and vitamin C is 5.9%. Next slide, please. So after having <clears throat> delicious lunch, we took some rest and went to the nearby municipal park of Mangaraberas. Belo Horizonte. It was a huge park with cool amenities such as skate pipe, kids playing ground, and many more. It is open to the public every day of the week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. except Mondays. I personally love this place. It's huge, beautiful, big, organized, and have a lot of animals. Thank you. So thank you, Nisa. So the, the lawns was really good, and the place we and the park was also really nice to visit. So now, furthermore, next slide, please. I would like to call Akriti Fuyal. Thank you, Dorze. Uh, greetings to you all. Uh, I am Akriti Fuyal. As Nishul has already talked about where we went to have our lunch. After the lunch, uh, we went to the famous iconic buildings of Sao Paulo's and then we took off for our beautiful destination for an Alha restaurant. Uh, it uh, tourists there, it took about seven hours and 46 minutes. Uh, uh, next, slide, next slide, please. And uh, we landed in uh, Sao Paulo Guarul Host International Airport. And after traveling um, nonstop um, for nearly eight hours, uh, we were starving like crazy. And next slide, please. We uh, directly went to the dining hall led by the workers from that very restaurant. And as we traveled that far to, fry, uh, to try the famous snacks, Ko Sinha and Tapioca, uh, we ordered it hurriedly while chatting with his other and mocking uh, Nishul for his, and for his uh, uh, really innocent behavior with Brazilian natives. After waiting uh, for like 10 minutes, our most rated snacks arrived at our table. Basically, I am the uh, person who avoid fried food or uh, trans fat. But the cuisine at this at that plate at that place was amazing, and I couldn't resist it. We we got to know about cuisine, uh, which is made by chicken broth, flour, and and sometimes potatoes also. Uh, Koshina made with uh, uh, chicken thigh, which its traditional shape is meant to resemble. Um, and talking about tapioca, so tapioca is a staple food for millions of people in tropical countries. Uh, it provides carbohydrate, protein, vitamins, and minerals. It is starch extracted from the storage roots of the cassava plant. Cassava copes better with poor soils uh, than many other food uh, plants. Um, and also, we got to know about um, uh, tapioca is stuffed with various sweet and savory fillings like cheese, coconut, or chocolate after trying it. Uh, we were uh, greatly impressed by those snacks. And we found out that the uh, nutritional values of koshina and tapioca consist of macro elements, minerals, and vitamins. Uh, as you can see from uh, the table, next slide, please. Um, the chart of the composition of macro elements uh, shows that carbs is of a uh, high um, percentage, that is 43%, and fiber is the lowest, 2.5%. Uh, uh, and again, in composition of minerals, 
uh, we can see that um, the maximum percentage is of iron. Uh, that is 57.2%, and minimum percentage is of sodium, that is 2.6%. Uh, in the same way, the composition of uh, vitamins, uh, the, uh, vitamins um, we can see that the maximum percentage of uh, vitamin C, uh, of vitamin C, and lowest percentage is of vitamin B. Uh, so um, uh, our tummy was so full that we had to go somewhere to uh, next side. Next side, please. Uh, our tummy was so full that we had to go somewhere to digest our food, and thereby we went to Sao Paulo's Museum of Modern Art. It was so beautiful, which is located in Ivirapuera Park. It was established on the year nineteen forty. Uh, 1948, founded by Francisco Matarajo, Sobrinho, and Yolanda de Ataliba. The museum has collection and includes more than 4,000 works by different artists. Uh, so that's all the information we gathered from our visit. And I hope it will be useful for you people if you encounter any opportunities to travel Brazil. Thank you, over to you, Dorze. So thank you. The food was really good and the museum we went was really nice and we, we got to see the modern arts of modern arts there and experience was good in there. So to further more presentation, I would like to call Otal Zakri. Uh, Thank you, Dawa. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so after visiting famous uh, Museum of Modern Art in Sao Paulo and having delicious snack in LA Fornal uh, Pizzeria restaurant in the state of Corona. Uh, after that, uh, we planned for a dinner in Bar Usa restaurant, uh, which is located uh, in the state of uh, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, it took almost uh, Previous slide. You are in a uh, uh, So it took uh, almost 13 hours by taking road trip and in flight uh, it took just only one hour 15 minutes to reach our destination so we decided to take a uh, flight after then we landed on organ aeroporto santos uh de Monto in rio do Janeiro. Uh, so we took taxi for restaurant uh, it took almost 30 minutes to reach uh, restaurant. In way, uh, in our way, uh, many beautiful places, uh, sightseeing, and beautiful sea beaches were passed on our way. Uh, after we reached uh, Bar Ucha restaurant, uh, it was long journey, so we all feel really hungry. So we ordered uh, mokache mm, for local people reference. Uh, uh, this food dishes is originated in Brazil. It is one of the famous Brazilian seafood. Uh, it was really good. Uh, for additional uh, dishes, uh, we order some brown rice. Next slide, please. So after that, uh, we are curious to know about uh, macro elements of of the um, dishes uh, so then we created the uh, table uh, for more clearance we uh, composed into a pie chart uh, here is the composition of uh, macro element next uh, then there is the some uh, composition of minerals next slide uh, then here is the last composition of vitamin 
next slide uh, after dinner and some food composition research uh, we decided to visit one of the main tourist attraction places sugarloaf mountain uh, it was really beautiful places uh, beaches and there was a two big mountain uh, mountains for the top of from the top of the mountain uh, there was a very beautiful view of beautiful city and beautiful sea view uh, and peaceful environment after that memorable trip uh, we head back to our restaurant it is one of the memorable trip i ever had uh, so that's all my presentation of my trip thank you thank you Otto. the sugar mountain we went was really nice and we and the view from the that high mountain was really good and we also uh, captured some best memories and photographs from that mountain so furthermore i i would like to call unisa's rest for her presentation thank you dorje it was really a very beautiful day in brazil but yet it was tiring so we decided to make a cancellation for uh, for the reservation that we made for dessert in the restaurant because we were out of time and we had to fly by uh, fly to france tomorrow early morning so we were very out of time and we decided to cancel the reservation for dessert and then we make a call to the restaurant for cancellation and tell them for your information we while booking we told them that we were from uh, we were students from nepal a uh, hospitality institution and we were uh, visiting there for a project so they were really looking forward us to for us to be there but unfortunately unfortunately we had to cancel the reservation so we uh, ended the call and out of a blue suddenly after just 5 minutes they call us back and tell us that they booked a helicopter for us to be there like what could we ask for more we were so happy so excited and so blessed and they will also fly us back to hotel so they are uh, so we don't have to wait for long and they also tell us that they the dessert is already made for us so we couldn't uh, deny that request so we went and another slide so it was a 5 minute flight to there and we reached there then uh, we reached to our restaurant next la karioka shivishya u e panama we we reached there the vibes there was immaculate we were smiling before we reached to the place like they welcomed us so greatly uh, we would like to again thank la karioka shivishya u panama for sponsoring us the dessert for sponsoring the helicopter for being so initiative and so uh, anticipated so beside that the dessert we had there they already had it made for us as soon as we reached there we, they welcomed us and they just brought us the dessert and they served us two dessert the native dessert of brazil they were the native dessert of brazil it was so good it was brigadeiro and bolo de rolo so brigadeiro it is more chewy it is chocolatey more creamy it was really good it is like a laddu it was like laddu and also it pleased the role of laddu there in brazil they distribute in uh, festivals and in good news and it just um, is a part of the festival so next one was bolo di rolo it was a like sweet cake uh, made from guava it really had many layers thin layers the one we had in the restaurant it nearly had 30 layers i don't know how they did that but it was really good so it was just it just melted in our mouth and uh, looking forward to the nutritional values of those food uh our like you can see the nutritional values you know, going more in detail so the composition of macro elements uh 
obviously sugar was expected because it was dessert so the cars was more there it was 48.7% of the dessert and sugar was 35.3% uh fiber it was 1.2% and fat and protein was 4.6% moving on to composition of minerals we can see sodium was really high we really had high intake of solid that day it was 80.4% in the dessert we had potassium was 14.6% calcium you can say it was 3.2% and a bit of hint of magnesium 0.3% moving on to vitamins vitamin a we uh, was the most in the dessert as you can see it is 87.4% of uh, and next vitamin d 5.2% vitamin c 3.1% and vitamin b 4.3% so overall composition was good everything was good now now i like to give this virtual floor to davatorji thank you thank you so this is the total calories that we take throughout the day so in breakfast uh, we took highest calories which is 26.1% and in lunch uh, and in lunch we took least calories uh, which is 7.6% and the calories are uh, contained in food items that we had in snacks had uh, snacks is also more and which is highest and which is highest calories throughout the day we throughout the day and the calories intake in dinner and dessert is less which is 17.2 to 18.0 next slide please so after having dessert uh, we went to this beach to see the beautiful view of the beach beach it was quite dark so there were no people around the beaches so we we uh, so our teammates only uh, do the uh, so our teammates only uh, visit these places and the night view was really nice in this beach next slide please oh sorry sorry i think we are at, at end so thank you so much all my teammates that was really amazing tour and the foods we had there was really delicious the places we visited there was really beautiful and it was worth visiting and we got lot of memories to and and we also got lot of memories there and i hope our audience also enjoyed the virtual tour now i would like to hand over this presentation to the coordinator of the day 3 Uh, thank you, Dawa Dorje. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dawa Lamusherpa, coordinator of Day Three, where we will be taking you guys on a virtual tour to France. So, me and my teammates uh, will be sharing our experiences and finding while exploring the major cities of France and their food. Next slide, please. Over uh, you, uh, as you can see, we traveled all the way from Brazil to France. next slide and uh, so we we are a team of a five miss cv hangmarai mr dawa dorje tamang mr akash tamang susan mr susan thapa and myself dawa musherpa uh, moving on you can uh, over here you can see a itinerary of the day uh, which shows which shows the restaurant that our teammate visited at france Uh, for breakfast we went to uh, le matignon at paris for lunch we went to restaurant les hockey uh, hockey in montpellier for uh, for snack we went to chess chess people uh, bavastro on uh, at nice for dinner we went to restaurant le tour uh, at versailles and for dessert we went to come a uh, les be uh, les bonnet at les bonnet moving on Uh, I would like to call Miss C.B. Hangma to continue this presentation. 
Thank you, Mr. Olamu. Um, after a rather swift flight experience, we arrived quickly at our destination, La Provence, France. Now, it's no secret that France houses some of the most beautiful places on earth, but none come closer to Paris, the city of light or aptly named as city of love. Georgia, can we move to the next slide? Yeah. Okay, our first stop was, here was Le Matignon, a fancy and quaint restaurant with a bewitching atmosphere. It offers a wide variety of brunch, traditional fare, and cocktails served in an opulent venue with a terrace and late night DJ sets. Reservations were quite a hustle as the place is almost always bustling with locals. The restaurant is open seven days a week for 16 hours. And we were greeted with smiles by the lovely staff and escorted to our tables. For starter, we had some um, classic omelets and French toast. The first thing you'll notice about the menu would be the prices. The experience was wonderful and atmosphere was tranquil and we had some waffles for the dessert. Although the food is quite good, the price can seem high to casual visitors, but regular have no such complaints. And for all our health conscious folks out here today in the audience, we have a visual representation of data regarding the macro elements. Now, this is the table content for nutritional values. And moving on to the next, we have is first we have the pie chart that shows us the composition of macro elements presenting French toast, waffles, and the omelet all together. As you can see, the carbs made up for the majority of the course, the omelette was rich in fats and proteins, and finally, the waffles and the French toast were high in sugar and fiber contents. Next. And next we have is the composition of min minerals where magnesium is 2.0%, calcium is 27%, iron is 0.2%, sodium 54%, and potassium 16.8%. And lastly, the, the vitamins round up to 0.2% vitamin C and 99.7% vitamin A. Okay. I wish we could have stayed a bit longer and maybe visit the club, but we were running out of time. So we beat a deal to Le Matignon and uh, we fared a local cab to the Eiffel Tower. It took us around eight minutes to reach there. As soon as we reached there, the top, as soon as we reached the top, the view was surreal and it left us with an astounding awe. Um, 300 meters above the ground, we were looking over the entire city. Even after more than a century later, 132 years to be exact. This marvel of human engineering still stood proud and ever so elegant. We met few local citizens and exchanged a few words. They were really approachable and easy to talk to. Despite our culture and social differences, there was a lot in common. Um, they even taught us the local catchphrase rendezvous in France, which roughly translates to meet you in France. And by this, we moved on with the day. And over to you, Dawalamu. Thank you, Miss CV. That was such a wonderful presentation. Now I'd like to call upon uh, Mr. Dawadoji Tamang. Thank you, Lamu. The breakfast was really good and my and our experience in Paris was really amazing. Touring around Paris made us feel really hungry, so we decided to have lunch. It was our first visit to Paris, so we didn't know much about places and restaurants there. So to have authentic French lunch, we took flight from Paris to Montpellier and the flight Sorry, I pressed the space bar and my mic was muted. So for lunch, we took flight from Paris to Montpellier and the flight was one hour and 20 minutes. After we reached Montpellier, we went uh, to restaurant Les Hockeyers. 
and the restaurant was recommended by one of my friend's brother. He has been living in Montpelier since 2015. So I inquired about this place before our tour. Next slide, please. For lunch, we order um, crop mosure, which is bacon uh, with bacon, radish, and little green lettuce salad. We wanted to taste the authentic food of France, so we ordered this food. The food we order is basically a hot sandwich made with ham and cheese. Usually, uh, it is served with poached or, or lightly fried egg on top, but we decided not to have egg, so we replaced the egg with salad. The lunch was really good. The melting cheese and ham was really delicious. We also collected the data for nutritional values of our lunch. Next slide. So this is the table containing the nutri nutritional values. We collected the nutritional data of food we had uh, and we replicated it in SART for the research. Next slide. So this is the composition of macro elements. You, you, uh, you can see the carbs is more in this food. So if you guys are uh, wanting or, or if you guys uh, want to eat the food uh, containing more um, e energy then you guys can eat this food because this uh, food contain more carbs following the same uh, there is the fat contained in this food is more because of cheese and ham the protein is 10.3 percent the least is fiber which is 2.0 percent next slide so this is the composition of minerals. The sodium contained in this food is really high, which is 63.1%. And the calcium is the second highest minerals that we can found in this food, which is 20.5. The potassium found in this food is 15.0. And the least is iron, which is only 0.1%. Next slide. So this is the composition of vitamins. So we, uh, while um, calculating the vitamins of these of this food, uh, we compiled both the dishes and we and we call and we came up with the vitamins. So vitamins A in both the dishes are really high. The vitamins B is uh, around thirty six to thirty seven percent. The least is vitamin C in both the dishes, which is around around five percent, and the vitamin D is around 25 percent. Next slide. So after having lunch, we decided to have a visit visit the place near visit uh, visit to the place which is near nearer to Montpelier. So we decided to visit the place we uh, place called Place de la Comédie. This place is the ideal starting point of point to explore the historic center of Montpelier. We didn't get enough information about information and history about these places because there was no any guide person person to guide us, and we didn't knew and and we didn't knew how to speak French to ask people about these places. So we just traversed through the cities, observing the infrastructures and their architectural design. This is how this is how we spend our trip to Montpelier. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dalton. With... So I'll be continuing the presentation. Uh, after after a five and a half hour long ride by train, I reached uh, we reached one of the most beautiful cities in France. We were thrilled to finally arrive here from Montpellier. After a thorough research about this city, I came to know about the origin of the name of the city. The name Nice uh, Nice La Bella means nice the beautiful. Nice also has the second largest capacity in the country and is one of the most visited cities. Next slide, please. 
So having heard uh, good reviews about a restaurant called Le Bracheche's People, we decided to travel there for a snack. As we, as we reached there, we got ourselves a table only to find out later that the menu was only French, but waitress willingly helped us, ordered in English. She finally recommended the most popular dish, soca, but we decided on the traditional Chaosin ox pomes and the thin ox resins, and we must say we weren't disappointed with our orders. It was excellent. The photography enthusiasts in our group started capturing the delish cuisine in front of us, while the rest of us only waited to devour it. The Chaosin ox pomes, also known as the apple torn over or apple slippers, was this buttery rich flaky pastry filled with sweet spice apple, simply delicious. It wasn't too greasy nor too sweet, which simply fitted my taste buds, but the uh, Pinox resins filled with the vanilla pastry cream soon became my favorite too. These pastries made with butter and plum resins were light, flaky, and deliciously buttery. To my surprise, it wasn't as dry as it looked. Instead, it tasted so good. One of the most memorable mem uh, moments in France has to be tasting these two pastries. When we uh, when we exited the restaurant, all I had in my mind was this: uh, that as soon as I get back to my home country, Nepal, I will definitely try my hands in preparing these two snacks. Next slide, please. So I am a very health conscious person. So I had to do my research on this nutritional value. So after doing the uh, research on the nutritional content of the snack, we came out with this table of macro elements, minerals, and vitamins. Next slide, please. So over here, we can see the composition of macro elements. Uh, as, you, uh, as you guys can see, the pain ox resins has the maximum carbon uh, carbs uh, content than the Chaosin ox pomes, whereas the fiber content is, is the list in both of the snacks. Next slide, please. Uh, comp over, uh, over here, we have composition of minerals. Uh, the maximum uh, ma magnesium content is 16.5%, calcium 6.5%, iron 8.1%, potassium 15.6%, and sodium 53.2%. Over here, the maximum, con um, maximum content, uh, mineral content uh, is sodium. Next slide, please. So lastly, we have this composition of vitamins or uh, vitamins over uh, where the vitamin C has the maximum con uh, content, 56.60%. Uh, uh, vitamin, vitamin A, 1.9%, which is the least, and vitamin B, 31.5%, and vitamin D, 10.5%. So moving on. Uh, having a keen interest in art, the Muse Matisse struck my mind. So without any second option, the, I had to visit this museum. The museum, which uh, opened in 1963, was located in Villa des Ernes, a 17th century villa in the neighbor of Simez. This was my first visit to an art museum internationally. It was a perfect opportunity for me to meet new people who shared the same love for art and culture. I found myself completely immersed in an atmosphere that attracted others who shared the similar interest too. The entrance ticket cost me 10 euros and Henry Matisse worked in different mediums and did a lot of paper cutouts too. After observing all his work, I realized he truly opened a window into, onto a paradise armed with the bright colors of the Impressionists. As we completed our tour in the museum, we walked out of the museum feeling truly blessed to have had this opportunity to view his work. He truly was the master of leaving things out in his work, leaving the rest for rest of us to fill with our imagination. In short, it was a pleasant experience. Thank you. Now I would like to call Susan, uh, I'm sorry, Akash Tapa, Akash Tamang to carry on this presentation. Thank you, Dava. Good 
good afternoon and namaste to everyone after visiting that museum it was such a lovely experience so after that we took we took a bus that took about five hours to reach my destination garabadi next slide please where we we reached the restaurant called restaurant la tour Yes. Uh, then there we had a wonderful, wonderful and amazing Ratatouille and friendship. Where Ratatouille, as it came to Ratatouille, I have seen a movie called Ratatouille, so I was so excited and so eager to taste the flavor and its quality. So there we had a breakfast and most famous meal named Ratatouille, along with a French soup. In one hand, relatively had a sweet taste from the onion and tomato juice mixed with a, some peppery flavor due to black peppery corns. On other hand, the soup is tasty, strawberry with a very rich flavor. That was a wonderful and most of one most exciting experience I had in my life. Next slide, please. So. As I, as my friends have have told, they they are very curious and very very control tip to their nutrition value. So I have also some table content of nutrition value listed below. Next slide, please. So composition of macro elements, relatively and French onion were the highest. Percentage is whole by your crabs and the lowest is sugar. Next slide, please. And composition of minerals here the highest percentage of 57.9 is whole by your sodium and the lowest is 0.5 percent whole by your iron. Next slide, please. Composition of vitamins here the vitamins A vitamin A has a medium where vitamin C has 66.1 percent and B has 57.5.7 percent with a lower lower percentage. Next slide, please. So after having a such a wonderful uh, dinner. It took about two hours in bus to reach the final destination where I was so eager to visit. From the day I went to the French, about some fact about it that it was listed in World Heritage Site for 30 years and, and is one of the greatest achievements in French 17th century art. Leo's 13th old hunting privilege was transmitted, extended by his son Leo's 14, when he insulted a court and government there in 1686. A succession of king continued to embellish the place until the French Revolution. It was a palace before 30 years, but after 30 years, it became a whole heritage site where I find a beautiful person who was guiding me named Jones frame John frame he 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 saw the path to into our and he ex he explained the everything about the palace he shows the media art wow art arts then the structure the building the Everything was so nice that I could not hold my tears. The, I was so happy and I was so happy to my friend as he gave me a full information and full history about it. After 
having a wonderful tour around here it took me about 2 two, 2 two hours and 30 minutes to see the whole surrounding and its garden was so beautiful the fresh air the people the lake sea was surrounding its surrounding the fresh smell was coming i i don't i do i i was feeling that i don't want to leave this place but i have to go so i finally get exited next slide please yes over to you jamu thank you akash tamang I must say Palace of Versailles is one of the most beautiful palaces I've ever visited. Now, without further ado, I'd like to call Susan Thapa. Thank you so much, Dawa Lamu. So, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's me, Susan Thapa. So, are you guys ready for the desert part? So, I will be explaining about the desert through the slide. So, we took a bus uh, that took one out ten minutes to reach the uh, Kuma Air Lisbon. Next slide, please, Dava. Yeah, okay. uh, next slide, please. So, marching toward the city of Lisbon to have the traditional French lemon art, lemon tart. Uh, so, uh, it is a perfect finish to the meal that's not too heavy uh, this is a tart you find virtually every pastries across the france and it is a favored dessert served at french bistros or even the fine dining uh, restaurant uh, next slide please i'll see so we divided uh, our journey to three steps uh, first step we plan to visit Koma Lisbon to have desert. Second step, uh, after some period of time after having the desert, we continue by walking through the slopes of Alfama. And third step, after having a memorable time, we depart to our own stay. Next slide, please. So a French lemon tart. A lemon tart is a desert consist of various tart. It is a pastry shell with a lemon flavored filling. Next slide with Akshay. So we include the content of nutritious value, microelements, minerals, vitamin, and total calories. Next slide, please. So, the composition of microelements, lemon tart. As uh, why we showed the pie chart because uh, so that the viewer will easily understand. And um, as you can see, the content of uh, carbs is higher. Out of the total macro elements, carbs is higher. And the content of protein is 4.7% out of total macro elements. Next slide, please. Uh, composition of mineral, 36.8% uh, uh, of calcium content is uh, available in uh, French lemon tart out of the uh, total minerals and uh, iron content is just a 0.4 percent out of total mineral. Next slide, please. Uh, composition of vitamin, uh, as you can see, 55.6 uh, percent of vitamin is contained is contained in French lemon tart uh, and. 3.7% of vitamin D is contained in French lemon tart out of the total vitamin. 3.7% uh, of vitamin D is contained in French lemon tart. Uh, next slide, please, obviously. Uh, so after having desert, we decided to go, that's our the second step. After having the desert, we decided to go for a walk and we went to the narrow street of Alfama. Uh, we get lost in the narrow street of Alfama. Alfama is the oldest and neighbor of Lisbon. Uh, though the rows of tall pastel building with their delicate tiles and uh, wrought iron balconies were 
interspread with loud bursts of steel art. Uh, this was the best moment we had in uh, France. Uh, after having dessert, uh, we had a nice talk. Uh, we walked for an hour, and after uh, then we moved to our our own stay. So that was my part. Thank you so much, and I would like to handle it to Dawalamu. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan Thapa. That was such a nice presentation. Moving on, uh, we can see the total calories intake throughout the day. Uh, the snack, uh, the calories of, of this uh, snack content is maximum, whereas the dinner has the least calories content. Breakfast, 20.3%, lunch, 22.8%, snack, 40.8%. Dinner, 7.5 snack uh, percent and dessert, 8.6 percent. Thank you. Uh, this was our presentation for day three. Now I would like to hand over this virtual stage to the coordinator of day four. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is the day four of our trip and we are in South Africa. Bonjour, I'm Samaksha Vatrai, a student from 26th Batch, Lucerne, and today I'm here on the virtual floor with my team to take you all to our wonderful journey we had in South Africa. As a coordinator, my foremost job is to introduce you all to the speakers. On the next slide, you'll see the speakers' names with their photos. We have Lakpa Zangu Sharpa, Smriti Gurung, Manish Kesi, Asmi Bandari, and Amrit Bandari as speakers today. Before we start off with our food journey in South Africa, I would like to share some fun experience we had in Egypt. On the next slide, as you can see, the, this is the itinerary that we have created uh, as, as a group, and this will be the restaurants we will be exploring. But with that, we have, there's, yes, there's the map of what uh, France to South Africa. So we had a fun, very fa fun plan. I think one slide is missing there. Yes. Before we start off with our food journey in South Africa, I would like to share some fun experience we had in Egypt. This, um, the photos of Egypt that will the presenter will show now. The next one, Abby, the next one. Yes, this one. Thank you. So as we know that D3 was the trip to France and um, after having very much fun in France, we booked a flight from France to South Africa. But luckily we had a couple of hours of layover in Egypt and we took this chance to take as many pictures as possible. And we went to the nearest uh, International Airport of Cairo, which was Coptic Cairo. It was a church and the church was very beautiful. As you can clearly see in the picture on your screen, the pictures of church and the view from our airport hotel was absolutely breathtaking. Without further ado, I would like to request Lakpa Zangu Sharpa to share the experience and food we had at the breakfast table. Lakpa Zangu Sharpa, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Ms. Samucha. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lakpa Zangu Sharpa. And <clears throat> after a long journey, we are finally here in South Africa. We were so excited and uh, we decided to have a breakfast in the Christian Bush Tea Room. And this is the map, and this is the <coughs> Christian tea um, room, the restaurant uh, where we had uh, decided uh, we had did, we did some research and found <coughs> some famous breakfast in Cape Town, uh, Saksuka and uh, Putupap <coughs> Saksuka. So Saksuka means all mixed up, and it is a dish of eggs 
poached in a sauce of tomatoes, olive oil, <clears throat> peppers, onion, and garlic, and commonly spiced with cumin, paprika, cayenne uh, pepper, and nutmeg. <clears throat> you, you can see in the picture. So it was really delicious. And I'll put a puff. Pub a porridge are made from maize, corn, meal. It's a staple food of Southern Africa. Putupap is also known as crumbly pap, which means porridge, which means crumbly porridge, and it is made with a very little water, giving it dry and crumbly texture. <clears throat> so wow, that was a really delicious and healthy breakfast. The flavor are still in my mouth, and here is the food composition of um, food composition of saksuka and putupap. <clears throat> this table tells us so what is contained in the food that we ate uh, on the basis of this table here is the pie chart of food compositions <clears throat> composition of macro elements of saksuka and putupap so putupap and saksuka contains uh, sugar proteins fiber fat and carbs in which <clears throat> proteins and carbs uh, are the maximum amount of uh, maximum percentage found in saksuka and putupap so minerals contained in saksuka and putupap uh, are magnesium calcium sodium iron and potassium in which potassium is the maximum uh, amount found in the saksuka and putupap mm, saksuka and putupap uh, contain vitamin a d and c in uh, in which vitamin my vitamin A is the maximum amount found in the saksuka and putupap. So <clears throat> after having a nutritionally delicious breakfast, our plan was to go to visit the Table Mountain Park. It took us almost <clears throat> half an hour by taxi to get there. Next slide. Next. So the table mount, it took us almost half an hour by taxi to get there and our <clears throat> work started from Tiffelburg Road. The path was well constructed with some stone steps. From there, it took us uh, almost two hours to reach up to the Table Mountain Park. And according to the research, we found that Table Mountain got its name because of its flat top and also one of the oldest mountain in the world. And there in Table Mountain Park, we rode of a famous cable car, the best way to experience the Cape Town. That was really fun and we enjoyed it a lot. It was worth riding the cable car. And after that, we went to visit Heli Hustinson Dam, high above the city, five remarkable stone dams, tell the long story, history of Cape Town's strength relationship with water. So <clears throat> that was all and it was really uh, memorable moments uh, with the friends. Thank you so much. Over to you, Samicha. Thank you so much, Lakpajang Musharapa, for that meticulous yet fun presentation. You also mentioned about the activity, the fun activity that we partake in. And now moving on to our second speaker, Smriti Gurung, who will be presenting the food and sharing the experience we had in lunch at Mama Africa restaurant. Smriti Gurung, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon. So today I'm going to present about the South Africa the further lunch lunch or next I'm going to explain it. the first of all visit the table uh, mountain national park the scenario of the table mountain national park is very expensive so the scenery of the mountain is about behavior and perspective and beautiful behavior along the nature trail, mountain hike, definitely love it. After that, we continue our journey with the Mama with Mama Peter Restaurant for lunch. We see located along the street, uh, Cape Town, South Africa. 
after we reached near we faced our it we are uh in Jika and Malaga meeting for the lunch. Um, the restaurant was very good. Um, they were with so many creative and stuff to ask the color to represent their own um, culture. The city of the restaurant is amazing and stuff are very nice. So I'd like to discuss about the dishes we had in some of the restaurants. They are in Jira and our cooking. First of all, we speak about in Jira. Uh, this is a store fermented on uh, and break with a nice architecture traditional way for the store. And the second one is the one is Mala Budin. Mala Budin is a street cooling for South Africa origin. It contains jam and has a spongy caramelized texture. And the famous dish of the Mala Budin restaurant is one of them. We will see that this is issue too. Next, please. Uh, after that, I'd like to discuss about the mouth men and winter competition. Uh, in Jira, I'm including a nice village. Uh, sugar is uh, 69 by week, or the same point per cent. Protein, protein, carbs are 16 by per cent. Protein. In Indonesia, we are doing a major composition. 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 The moving there, our lunch was amazing. So we are good at using table mountain mission work. And so we decided to take the some bits for further. So this presentation for the questions. Thank you for the presentation. I'd like to hand over to Samita. Thank you. Thank you so much, Smriti Karang, for your wonderful presentation. Now, our third speaker is Manish Casey, and he will be torturing us by reminding us that beautiful and amazing snacks we had at Lingalapa. Marnie Skishi, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Samiksha, and good afternoon to everybody. After we had our lunch, we decided to rest for a few hours, but suddenly urged to roam around the country resurfaced, so we could not help ourselves and quickly decided to go to have our snacks. Our African friends suggested us to go to Nottingham Road, KwaZulu Natal, to try out Bitong and Bonichao. Bitong and Bonichao uh, is Bitong, Bitong and Bonichao. We decided to have it as our snacks that day. Uh, so uh, I want to um, give you a brief description about the place. It was Nottingham Road, and it is a town, 19 kilometer south of Muir River and 59 kilometers northwest of Peter, Mar Peter Maritzburg, founded in 1905 and named after the Nottingham Regiment, which was stationed there when trouble was expected from the Besotho. Now, Besotho is an ethnic group um, belonging to South Southern Africa who speaks Setho. They are quite tribal and ancient people. In the 19th century, uh, Nottingham Road, uh, for your kind information, is also very famous for trout fishing. Uh, you can see in the screen, so these are, can we move back to the, yes, thank you. So these are the two dishes we had that day. Uh, I want to give you a brief description about these two uh, dishes as well. Uh, Biltong is, in its basic form, a dried steak, which is then caught to eat Biltong is traditionally marinated in vinegar and spices that add extra flavor to the meat, while jerky often has a dry and smoky taste. It uh, looks similar to jerky, but it's not. Uh, they have a special recipe for uh, preparing biltong. And next dish that we had was boni chow. Uh, boni chow is also called boni in short form. 
originated in the large Indian community of Durban on the eastern coast of South Africa. Uh, next slide. So uh, this uh, drink uh, caught us by a surprise, and we didn't really expect it. But a, f uh, a, a, a worker from uh, that particular restaurant, uh, he was very inquisitive about us, and he found out that we we were not from there. And obviously, and he told us to have some fun and create some memories. So he offered and. He said that uh, you can have uh, this uh, drink called um 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 kumboti. Uh, it's a drink from Africa, and and we all decided to have it. So it's an alcoholic beverage. It's a alcoholic be beverage from the Kosa Kosa sorry Kosa and Zulu language is a beer made from maize maize malt yeast and water it has a thick creamy and gritty consistency next slide uh, you can see this is a uh, macro elements contained in bonza and built on so it contains uh, 1.6 percentage of vitamin a likewise 35.6 36.5 percentage of vitamin 12 13.9 percentage of vitamin b6 11.5 percentage of vitamin c 1.1 percentage of vitamin D and 1.9 percentage of vitamin E. Next slide. Uh, this is a uh, chart containing uh, uh, minerals. Uh, so this dish contains 5.5, uh, 5.4 percentage of magnesium. Iron is 9.3 percentage. And potassium has the highest uh, amongst uh, other four. So sodium is 14.1 percentage and calcium is 14.5 percentage. So uh, I would like to give you a uh, a little bit of information about the percentage that's uh, shown in the chart. So percent uh, daily value on the nutrition facts label is a guide for the nutrients in one serving of food. For example, if the label lists 15 percentage of calcium, it means that our serving provides 15 percentage of the calcium you need each day. Next slide. Mm. Lastly, I have included uh, the preparation methods of these two uh, dishes that we had. So this is this is this is it from me and I would like to enjoy the rest of the presentation. So I would like to uh, give this virtual floor back to Ms. Samik Shabatrai. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manish Kisi. You explained meticulously about the snacks we had, but I think you might have just missed that one part. Remember the part where you drank five liters of umkombeti and won 1,000 South African rand? He actually participated in this competition and won. And it was a really great thing. And he was feeling undefeated. And that was very fun. Now, moving on to our next speaker, we have As Asmi Vandari, and she will be explaining and sharing the food we had at our dinner table in Nelson's Eye. Asmi Vandari, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Sir Miksha. After the snacks, we decided to have a dinner. Then we decided to go to Nelson Eye's restaurant. Next, next slide. Next slide. We, we decided to uh, go where the waitress uh, came and told our most famous dish in a uh, dish in South uh, South Africa, and she told about Cape Malik uh, chicken curry. Where we we all five were shocked, uh, shocked that it is same like Nepali dish where we Nepali dish like chicken curry, and it is famous dish in South Africa. It was locally and adopted by when Malaysians were forced by the Jews to immigrate ourselves in South Africa. Colonies in the 16th and 17th century when needs of building and country infrastructure were not made by local and more workers were needed. 
from chicken curry, we also decided to add some yellow rice next night. It's it is same with the Nepali rice, but it is more it is diff uh, it is quite different. But um, when uh, South African people uh, citizens made this, they add um, uh, they add turmeric to make it white. Make this yellow, sorry. Yellow rice is a traditional yellow color rice. This is Spanish, West Indian, Macrons, Macrons, Caribbean, Portuguese, Philippines, Afrin, South, uh, sorry, Indian, South, Sri Lankan, South African, and Indonesia cuisine. It is it is made using the white rice, white rice made with yellow and saffron or turmeric. Indicates used to give the rice its its yellow color. South African yellow rice with its origin in Cape Malay cuisine. It is traditionally made with resins, sugar, and cinnamon, making a very sweet uh, rice. This serve as an accompaniment to sorbari dish and uh, curries. Next slide. Here are some videos of uh, Cape Malay chicken curry with yellow rice. Next slide. Let's talk about this component of Cape Malay and uh, Cape Malay chicken curry with L and yellow rice, where sugar content four percent, fiber content three point zero three percent, fat content twenty two percent, carbohydrate content fifteen percent, and at last protein content fifty six uh, percent. Is next slide. And here is a composition of minerals where sodium content fourteen point three percent. Protein content 5.5 percent, carbohydrate contains 1.5 percent, fat 2.2 percent, iron iron also 2.2 percent, potassium 73.2 percent. Next slide. Next slide. And at last, we compare Cape Malay chicken curry with El rice and lost time with. Um, vitamin A content 4.2, vitamin 3.1, and last uh, vitamin D content 9.2. Over to thank you. Over to you, Samiksha. Thank you so much, Ashmi, for explaining and sharing the experience we had at our dinner table. Yellow rice and Cape Malay chicken was amazing. And yellow rice, you know what? We even talked about this, but yellow rice actually reminded us of Jamrivat and that yellow rice with Cape Malay chicken, the perfect combination ever. Now, moving on to our next speaker, last but not the least, we have Amrit Bandari, who will be sharing the experience we had in dessert at Sugar Bakery. So without further ado, I'd like to call Amrit Bandari. Amrit Bandari, the virtual floor is yours. Thank you so much, Samiksha. Uh, good afternoon, sir, guest, and everyone. So this is me, Amrit Bandari, and today I'm here on the virtual floor talking about the best and delicious dessert that we have in South Africa and therefore. So after completing our delicious dinner from Nelson I restaurant, we all want to move on from there for having our best dessert, which we found the place near from Nelson I restaurant. The name of that bakery is my sugar bakery. And it lies on the seaside point at Ren Building, 77 Regent Road. And the distance between the Nelson I restaurant to my sugar bakery is about 7.6 kilometers, which takes only 14 minutes to reach there by car. And we all decided to move on from there towards my sugar chocolate and coffee bar. And finally, we are there. We feel very happy and we are excited to having a special and personal desert in South Africa. And next slide, please. So after after <clears throat> so after reaching there, so we have been we have starting the choosing the menu. So and we found that we found that so it is a kind of advantage if you are free and planning to visit South Africa soon. So Dolan had some of the most mouth watering dishes, especially the South African desert with ginger in your mouth. And also, it's an uh, every community has their own special traditional desert, which gives you a taste of the locals. And that we are wondering how to choose the perfect sweet dish for our taste. Then we discuss. We have a short listed two two desserts in South Africa. They are milk tart and quick sisters. And talking about the milk tart and milk tart and quick sister dessert. So these desserts are the most traditional dessert in South Africa. 
they are really lip smacking dishes. It looks like smooth, creamy, streaky, crunchy, and their taste and looks are the most interesting in appearance. The reason that we choose the milk tart is to celebrate this dish. There is also a national milk tart day. So we love milk and tart order this without even looking at menu. So as well for the quick stars, we know that they do not take a bit of advanced preparation before deep frying and the quick stars for quick stars, the quantity skit was really good in paste. So after having the milk tart and quick stir, so the, that our mind is really enjoying, that our mind, mind is blowing and we decided to have a special African desert wine which name was the which name was is the Bubbles Cap Ruby. Ruby and and you can see the video also in the recipe video that our milk tart and quick sisters that was the video with the recipe and next slide please. So that 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 after finishing our desert, then we have decided to have an Afri African popular wine, this Boclas Cab Ruby. So this wine, so this wine are bright red in purple color with crimson tints, and which were really really sweet in taste also, and smiling spices and with smooth tannin, and we all really enjoy it a lot with wine also. So next slide please. So after completing our desert we all returned to our hotel and we started research on those foods that we have in day four and finally we found the different nutrients value through google sources and here is the composition of macro elements that make macro elements of quick sisters and milk tart and the sugar content 20.4 percent and carb contains 30.4 percent and fat content 45.4 percent and protein contain 1.4 percent and fiber content 0.3 percent and the comparing the highest content level and the lower content level the fat percentage is totally high and the five percent is lower respectively and next slide please and also talking about the composition of minerals sodium content 14.7 percent calcium contains 26.3 percent and potassium content 15.7 percent and iron content 0.3 percent and it means that potassium percent is higher than iron iron percent so next slide please so talking about the composition of vitamin so here we only found that vitamin B and vitamin C containing in in this desert, and so vitamin C contain 88.9 percent and vitamin C contain 11.1 percent, and respectively vitamin C contains is higher higher than vitamin B, and so that was our whole trip in South Africa. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening, and over to you, Samik Chat. Thank you so much, Amrit Bandari, for sharing our desert experience. Now, we are almost at the end of our D4 session. So starting off with the breakfast, and the breakfast was Puru Pap and Shakshuna at Christian Bosch Tea Room. The second was lunch in Injera and Maha Pudding at Mama Africa, which was explained thoroughly by Smriti Gurung. The snacks we had was Biltong Umkumbothi and Bunny Chow. It was at Lingalapa restaurant and it was explained by Manish Kisi. Next, we had dinner and it was explained by Ashmi Bandari. And we what we had was yellow rice and keep Malay chicken at Nelson's Eye restaurant. Last but not the least, Amrit Bandari explained thoroughly about our dessert experience in My Sugar Bakery. We had milk tar, oysters, and dessert wine. So the total calories intake throughout the day was, um, I'm so sorry, sir, uh, I like to, sir, excuse me, sir. Yes, I'm sure. So I like to report uh, one problem. Uh, so uh, Abby is presenting this slides, right? So when I open these slides from my side, the few changes we have made is not coming in the slide he's presenting. Oh, I mean, you're supposed to work on the same Google slide. So yes, we did. There are changes, like there are changes, okay. but then Maybe you can refresh my refresh. Yes, 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 please do that. Because this has happened. Yes, this is my slide. Thank you so much. So as you can clearly see on the chart, 
on your screen total calories intake throughout the day um, so here is written calories of what we had shakshuna being the highest it reaches almost 2000 and biltong being the second coisters being the second highest and biltong being the third highest this were the calories intake we had in south africa now that being said i would like to hand over the responsibility to the next day's coordinator. Good afternoon, everyone present out here. Before I start off, I'd like to take some time and thank Mr. Ravi Batrai for making this possible today. Also, I briefly introduce you to my teammates. They are Fa uh, Mr. Fabian Nifnigar, Ms. Ganga Pandey, and Ms. Ritu Mandal, Ms. Puspa Bhatrai, and Ms. Pismita Panda. Panda. Moving on, the sole purpose of this tour is to present you with an immersive virtual experience on a global scale. So I see Vyang Marai will be your host for now, and our destination for the day is the land down under Australia. We will be reviewing and analyzing five different restaurants from different states and meal course served from breakfast to dinner. We have statistics placed on in charts to give you a quick look of all the numbers and values of macro elements, minerals, vitamins, and calorie content with each course. So first off, I would like to call Mr. Fabian Nifinegar to share his experience. Thank you, CB. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'll be presenting you the breakfast we are having in day five from around the world in seven days tour. In day four, we were in South Africa, where we had big, where we had some interesting meals. For day five, we will be flying straight from Cape Town to Melbourne to try a new style of cuisine. The previous day, we were in South Africa, and we had a lot of tasty meals with a lot of spices. So we thought of having something with a lot less spices to start off the day. We also wanted something healthy and something which uh, has a lot of heart to it, which is why we'll be heading to the restaurant called The Kettle Black, where we'll be having their famous avocado on toast, which is a perfect breakfast. Talking about The Kettle Black, The Kettle Black is a cafe or restaurant located south of Melbourne, which is one of Melbourne's most sophisticated food and beverage hotspot. The Kettle Black sits uh, somewhere between cafe and restaurant. Uh, the Kettle Black has meticulously detailed architectural mastery, which is a combination of both old and new styles of architecture. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into the avocado on toast from the Kettle Black, which is one of their signature breakfast dishes. Um, yesterday, uh, we had a lot of spiced and oily foods. So we chose avocado on, to uh, avocado on toast uh, for the perfect dish uh, we were looking for. Here in the Kettle Black, they are very strict about their products that they use, and they use only fresh and organic fruits and vegetables. Um, so we got our hands on some fresh avocado on toast that is made from organically grown and selected avocado fruits, which make the dish that much healthier. And before making a stop to the Kettle Black, we also looked at some of the reviews where there were many good reviews on the avocado on toast served here. And let me tell you that the avocado on toast did not disappoint. Um, now I'll be explaining the macronutrients that are found in avocado on toast. The majority of macronutrients consist of carbs, which is 35 grams of carbs or 51% of the micronutrients found in avocado on toast. As avocado on toast is served on bread, it has more amounts of carbs. Avocado on toast also contains 22.8% fat or 11 grams of total fat. This is because avocado contains a lot of oil in the fruit itself. Did you know that avocados are also used to make avocado oil as the fruit itself contains a lot of oil and is used as a healthy alternative or substitute for vegetable oil? Avocado on toast also contains 13.2% of fibers or 6 grams of total fiber which is found in the avocados itself. Fibers are very healthy and it helps with your digestive system and promotes regularity in your digestive system. Um, next, 
10.7 protein, 10 also found in avocado on toast, which comes from the yeast found in the toast, and avocados also contain some protein in them. And lastly, sugar or one gram of total sugar. As avocado is a fruit, it automatically consists of sugar, but in avocados, you can find less amount of sugar compared to other fruits. Now let's talk about the minerals found in avocado on toast. Um, it consists of 37.7% sodium. Um, the toast contains salt and also salt is added as a seasoning to the avocado, which explains the higher amount of sodium present here. 37.2% um, of potassium, uh, which, is mainly, which mainly comes from the fruit itself, is also found in avocado on toast. 20.2% of calcium, 4.6% magnesium, and 0.3% of iron is also found. As you can see, just a slice of avocado on toast contains a lot of essential minerals. And next is the vitamins found in avocado on toast, where we can find... Um, Next slide, please. Um, where we can find 91.7% um, uh, of vitamin A, which is a lot of vitamin A in comparison to other vitamins. Um, vitamin, support, vitamin A supports a healthy immune system and also reduces acne. So if you are frustrated that you have some uh, a lot of acne, then you should uh, eat some avocado on toast to overcome your acne. <laughs> Then there is 8% of vitamin D, which is followed uh, by 0.3% of vitamin D, a B. Avocado is one of the healthiest foods out there, and we had the opportunity to get our hands on some fresh organic avocado on toast, which was a perfect start to the day. After having breakfast, we headed to the Federation Square, which is located in Melbourne. Federation Square is a great venue for arts, culture, and public events. It is, a public, it is a popular place in Melbourne, which is always busy. We got to meet some people who give us suggestions to where we can eat in Melbourne, but little did they know that our next meal wouldn't be in Melbourne City. Um, this concludes the end of my presentation, and I would like to give the virtual floor back to CB. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fabian. Uh, your presentation was wonderful. And moving on to the next we have is Ganga Pandey. Miss Ganga Pandey. Russell and Run. It's a Ganga Pandey. So far, I can stop. After having breakfast, we decided to have a for one of hours to our destination for having a in the to we based this look for one place center for the and the food was very tasty. And next slide. What happened? Sorry, Ganga seems to have some technical difficulties. Uh, 
we are uh, we are look the menu and choice our food uh, barbecue barbecue snacks and lamb chop it is very tasty and it is very good for our health it is the very famous food in australia next slide please uh now thinking about the composition composition of micronutrients uh sugar 1.5% 1.5% potassium 4 to 6% carbs 2.2% and fat 53.7% next now taking moving on minerals next slide this is uh, talking about the composition of uh, vitamins um, Thank you, Ganga. In the lamb chops and sauces were really delicious. And moving on to the next is Ritu Pandey. Hey, sorry, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> moving on to the next, we have is Miss Ritu Manda sharing her experiences. The virtual floor is yours, Ritu Pandey. Hey, Ritu Manda. So thank you, CV. So after having lunch, uh, we decided uh, for a snack. We decided to uh, go go Tiswa restaurant, which is one hour twenty three minutes to reach. So after reaching there, we order lambing tongue and meat pie. Uh, so lambing tongue and meat pie is a famous Australian snack. So lambing tongue is made with a coated in an outer layer of chocolate sauce and ro rolled in desiccated coconut. And meat pie is made with chunky filling of meat and often savory ingredient. Uh, uh, it is sometimes it is also made with onion, mushroom, or cheese. The meat pie is considered iconic, uh, iconic in Australia. So after having a delicious, uh, <laughs> after having a delicious uh, snack, we just calculate uh, nutrition value. So, next slide, please. So, composition of mac micro element of uh, lemon tongue and meat pie. So, you can see carbs is a uh, 46.7% with the highest uh, composition. Same like uh, um, sugar is 36.3% and Protein, uh, sorry, fat is 10.7% and protein is 4.7%. So fiber is the least uh, uh, with 1.7% uh, uh, among uh, other elements. So next, please. So composition of mineral of lambing tongue and meat pie. So sodium is the highest with 50.0% uh, and uh, Calcium with 18.7%, uh, potassium 18.8%, and list with uh, iron 12.5%. So next, please. So composition of vitamin of lambing tongue and meat pie. So vitamin A is the highest with 82.2%, and uh, vitamin C with 13.7%, and the list was vitamin B with 4.1%. So after that, we decided to visit OPSIC next slide, please. After that, we decided to visit uh, Nanantan Temple, which is a Buddhist temple complex located in Berkeley on the southern of the Australian city of Wollongong, uh, located 80 kilometers south of Sydney. So we learned different things from that place. So it is a Chinese word, li literally means paradise of south 
uh, this temple holds a uh, lot of importance as it propagates the buddhist faith and culture it is the one of the major tourist attraction in wollongong area attracting thousands of visitor visitors interested in chinese culture and buddhism so that was my part now i like to call uh, sivi angma for her further presentation thank you thank you ritu mandal um, next we have is pushpa rai to share her experience and then thank you sivi angma good afternoon everyone Uh, after visiting Nantain Temple, we feel so hungry, so we decided to have our dinner in a Red Lantern restaurant. Uh, from Nantain Temple, um, uh, it takes one hour to twenty-one minute to reach uh, our restaurant. Next slide. After reaching uh, reaching there, we decide to. Um, Uh, have our dinner with a roast lamb and red wine roast lamb has a uh, roast lamb has been declared australian, australian national dish um, uh, this leg of lamb uh, recipe will create the perfect holiday meal uh, tender and juicy the roast uh, roast lamb meat has so much flavor Red wine make a very nice lamb pair. No matter how you prepare it. Next slide. Uh, composition of uh, micro element of roast lamb is fat forty five point seven percent, protein fifty four point three percent. Next. Um. Uh, compositions of minerals are. Magnesium one point one percent, sodium sixteen point three percent, protein five point six percent, fat four point seven percent, iron two point three percent, potassium seventy seventy percent. Next. Ah, uh, composition of vitamins are vitamin D six point three percent, vitamin ninety three point eight percent. Next slide. After having our dinner, we went to uh, Blue Mountain National Park. Um, the Blue Mountain uh, National uh, National Park lies western of me in Australia. We enjoyed the view over there. I love this place. Ah, uh, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. Ma'am, you have to see some civilian man. Thank you, Pushpa. And now, lastly, we have is Bismita Panta to share her experiences on desert. So after having our dinner, as you know, we go to Blue Mountain National Park. So we reserve a Blue Mountain Explorer bus to explore around, and we thoroughly enjoyed that experience. And we had such a good time. After exploring around and having a lots of fun there, we directly went to the Blackheath, New South Wales, by car, and it was such a short drive. And we already had our next slide, please. And we already had our plan to go to Bake House on Wentworth for some delicious dessert. And it was such a small dessert house, but it was giving us that aesthetic vibe. So um, we went inside to the dessert house and got to know that there was no waiter service. So we go to the dessert counter to place our order, and we order strawberry pavlova and fairy bread because they look so tempting and appealing. As you can see in the picture, how beautiful strawberry pavlova is, and not only is beautiful, it is also really delicious, and it is crispy on the outside but fluffy and soft on the inside, topped with fresh strawberries and whipped cream. And fairy bread is like it is really easy to make. Like when you are craving for some sweet, you can easily make it at your home. You just need bread, butter, and some sprinkles, and you have your fairy bread. So we are a little health conscious, so we we wanted to know the nutritional values of the dessert we had. So this is the composition of macro element of strawberry pavlova and fairy bread. Strawberry pavlova and fairy bread contain highest number of carb with the forty point five percent. Is strawberry pavlova and fairy bread contain second highest sugar with the thirty seven point four percent. And strawberry pavlova and fairy bread also contain fat with 
19 percentage and protein with 2 pet percentage and stability problem and fairy bread also contain fiber least number of fiber with 0 per 6 percentage and this is the mineral composition of strawberry pablova and fairy bread so strawberry pablova and fairy bread contain highest calcium with 51.2 percentage strawberry pablova and fairy bread also contains sodium with 26 by 6 percentage strawberry pablova and fairy bread also contain potassium with 21 percent and least number of iron with 1.2 percentage So talking about the uh, composition of vitamins in strawberry pablo and fairy bread, strawberry pablo and fairy bread contain higher number of vitamin A with 99.8 percentage. As Fabian said, it's also good for our immune system and acne. So it doesn't only satisfy your hang hunger or craving for sweet, it also satisfies your immune system and acne. So after having our delightful dessert, next slide please. So after having our delightful dessert, we went to Black It Fun Fair to have some fun because the lady, the counter lady of the desert house was so sweet and she recommended us to go there and luckily it was the last day. So if you guys are wondering what is Black It Fun Fair, so it is basically an amusement park but only open for 17 days from midday to 9 p.m. And we feel so fortunate to go there at that time and we also got to show some beautiful fireworks. So it's been quite a day with like playing so many games and just having the life of our day. Now I would like to give this next slide, please. And these are my references. And now I would like to give this virtual floor back to Ms. Tibi Hangmarai. Thank you, Ms. Bismeta. Um, I was really conscious about my acne. So <laughs> the dessert really is up to my expectation. And lastly, I'm going to tell you a talk about the total calories intake throughout the day. Now. Uh, lamb chop had the maximum calories contained, which was 19.2%. And second, we have roast lamb, which was 17.4%. And thirdly, we have barbecue, which has which had 15.2%. And it goes on. And thank you so much, all uh, y'all, for listening. And now I would like to call the next group to share their experience and journey experiences on their journey. Thank you so much, CV. Good afternoon once again. Welcome to this virtual tour around the world in seven days. Today is day six and we are headed to Indonesia. The speakers of today are Samiksha Bhatrai, Alisha Rayamaji, Can you turn on the next slide? So the speakers of today are Samiksha Bhatrai, Alisa Rai Maji, Rohan Moharzan, Rivas Karki, and Susan Thapa. This is me, Unisa Shrestha. I'm the coordinator of P6, and I will be helping them share their experience throughout. Since everyone seemed to love Indonesia these days so much, we decided to take a visit there for our project around the world in seven days and hands down, it is one of the most beautiful country in the world. We all know Indonesia is famous for its beaches, volcanoes, fantastic landscapes, and uh, temples of almost every religion. But there's one more reason why we fell in love with Indonesia so much, and it was their food. Indonesian food is really, really delicious. So today, to give you more information about the Indonesian food, we will take you on a virtual ride along with us as we reminisce our Indonesia visit from last year. To further share experience about what we had on breakfast, I would like to request Ms. Samiksha Bhattar to take on this virtual floor. Thank you so much, Yunisa Shrestha. Again, it is me, Samiksha, and now I would like to help you guys relieve the day we spent in Indonesia. We reached Indonesia at around 7 a.m. We then went to a hotel and got freshened up. After that, we headed for some ethnic Indonesian food. 
the restaurant we collectively chose was Mira Putai. Mira Putai is one of the most renowned restaurants in Indonesia. And it was nearby our hotel too. It was one of the major reasons we went there to eat. We reached Mira Putai at 7, 8 a.m. And after that, we were just in for the breakfast. On the next slide, as you can see, what we have ordered, this is the picture of the restaurant. And on the next slide, again, you can see the nasi goreng, baji gur, and buvaraya. So firstly, we decided to have nasi goreng. Nasi goreng is the popular Indonesian fried rice. And it was served with egg, which was sunny side up. It was so cute. I love the unique dark brown caramelized color of the rice. The ingredients in it were so simple and yet so amazing. And each ingredient bought the best out of the food. And the second, what we ordered was bubur ayam. Uh, bubur ayam is the Indonesian version of chicken cogni. A thick rice porridge topped with shredded chicken and various savory condiments. It tasted like chicken soup with citrus fragrance. And the ar aroma was very amazing and refreshing as well. After having nasi goreng and bubur ayam, we wanted to have something, something fresh, hot, and something that didn't, that wasn't as heavy as the nasi goreng and bubur ayam. So we got just what we needed. It was bazigur. Bazigur was is a hot drink full of sweet and spicy feel flavors of ginger, um, sugar, and coconut milk. And the taste was heaven, especially in that early in the morning. On the next slide, you can see that I have attached recipe videos of nasi goreng and ayam. And on the another slide, you can see the you can see the recipe video I have attached of bazi gur. Now talking about the composition of macro elements in nasi goreng bubur ayam and bazi gur. Remember nasi goreng was uh, the amount of uh, nasi goreng we each consumed was 250 gram. So nasi goreng, as you can clearly see in the chart, it had high carbs in it. Carbs was high in uh, each in each of the uh, in in nasi goreng bubur ayam and bazi gur. The least being fiber, fiber and sugar in nasi goreng and bubur and in bubur ayam, the least was fiber. Bajigur, uh, bajigur had um, no fiber and no protein, but it doesn't matter because the taste was superb. It can uh, these these contain protein uh, carbs, fat, fiber, and sugar. On the next slide, you can see composition of minerals of uh, uh, 250 grams of nasi goreng, bubur ayam, and baji gur. So um, calcium in, baji gur, na, in nasi goreng was very low, uh, where sodium was very high. Bubur ayam had the maximum amount of uh, sodium present in it, and the, uh, and, and the lowest was calcium. In Bajigur, there were no calcium, iron, potassium, or magnesium, and magnesium, but it had sodium content in it. And on the other slide, you can see the composition of minerals. Here, I've decided to I decided to do something different, and here is the area chart of nasi goreng and bubur ayam and their minerals content. These only contain two mineral two uh, things and they were sodium and potassium. The sodium being the highest in both nasi goreng and buburayam, whereas uh, potassium was uh, lower in comparison to um, sodium in nasi goreng and buburayam. Nasi goreng, uh, buburayam had a higher potassium and higher sodium. Nasi goreng had um, lower lower potassium and lower sodium in comparison to buburayam. 
Thank you so much. The virtual floor is again back to you, Yunisha Shrestha. Thank you so oh, much. Uh, and the composition of vitamins. Yes, the composition of vitamins. I forgot. So the talking about the composition of vitamins, as you can clearly see on the chart, there were um, vitamin E, B, and D. E, B, and D in it. So, um, I am. Buburan Nasi Goreng had the um, had vitamin D and vitamin um, vitamin E uh, higher than in comparison with than in comparison with buburayam. Thank you. Thank you so much, Samitra. You really justified the share the experience that we had on breakfast. And do you also remember an interesting fact about the that Indonesian food that it was originally made to avoid throwing away the leftover rice? So you don't uh, guys do not be surprised if you get served this at your breakfast uh, while you're in Indonesia. So now it's time for some lunch. To give you more information about lunch, I would like to request Miss Alisa Rahmaji to take on this virtual floor. Thank you, Nisa. Hello, everyone. I'm Alisha Raimaji. Uh, after heavy lunch and a heavy breakfast on Miraputai, we and few hour rest, we wanted to have uh, a lunch. So we took a cab uh, of one hour and 30 minutes. We went to Mama Africa food restaurant. Uh, it took one hour and 30 minute, 13 minutes. And after reaching there, Next slide. We ordered uh, nasi pedang and beef randang. Next slide. So nasi pedang, more commonly referred to as a pedang rice, also known as steamed rice, served with various sources of pre-cooked dishes, and beef randang. Uh, randang is a rich and tender uh, coconut beef stew which is explosively flavored and also beef randang is the most popular in Indonesia so we choose to have these two dishes as a lunch and it was really de delicious so uh, as we are health conscious we also uh, and we also wanted to know the minerals and uh, minerals contained in those foods food nasi pedang and beef randang so in beef and nasi pedang minerals composition is sodium it contains sodium 31.2% calcium 5.2% uh, iron 0.4% potassium 63.2% next slide so macro element composition of beef and nasi pedang in which sugar contains 3.4% as fiber contains 4.6% Fat contains 28.9%, uh, carbs contain 11.7%, and proteins contain 51.4%. Next slide. Same as vitamin composition is beef and nasi pedang. Uh, vitamin A contains 5.3%, as uh, vitamin B contains 2.4%, and vitamin C contains 92.3%. So after this, uh, after a heavy lunch, we wanted to have some fun too. So we searched a uh, Google and we found a mall. Uh, it was Lipo Mall, and we wanted to have fun there and have some shopping also. So uh, we book a cab and went there. It was uh, only a 19 minute from Mama Africa restaurant to Lipo Mall, but. Uh, I must say it was a second Kathmandu because uh, the traffic jam was really bad. So around uh, one hour, we, we reached uh, Lipo Mall. And I must say, after reaching there, uh, the mall is a wonderful entertainment center. Not only do people go there to shop, but they also go there for relaxation and to have fun. 
personally, I don't find malls depressing at all. They uplift my mood. Of course, I rarely go to the mall, but when I do, I enjoy walking through all the department equally. So we had a lot of fun. So talking about Indonesia personally, uh, Indonesia is a lovely country, very kind, quiet, and helpful people, especially when uh, we visit a small city, Iceland, we could feel a warm love from everyone. People did their best to make us happy. We did really feel home in there. Only one little problem was that people uh, do not speak English only. Few of them do. And other hand, they gave us the chance to be thankful to the way they treated us by learning their language to communicate with them. The food was so tasty. We love you so much to me different places means different unique dishes wow it was really wonderful so overall indonesia is a huge country one time visit would be definitely uh, wouldn't be enough so we people gonna be back again to indonesia one day still have many places in the list to visit so thank you back to you unisa thank you so much alisha for your amazing share of experience you really took me back to that day. We can see that there's a lot of common in Indonesian and Nepalese food as rice is their staple food too. They eat it every day for lunch and dinner. We also eat it every day for lunch and dinner. And the, another thing we can relate to Indonesia so much is the traffic there. Traffic is really bad. Uh, in the map, we, you can see that we reach uh, Mama African Food Restaurant to Lipo Mall in 19 minutes, but it really took us nearly half, one and a half an hour to reach there. So we really didn't have any plans for uh, eating any snacks, but after that long ride and some shopping in Lipo Mall, which Rohan will explain it later, we really got hungry and then stopped for some snacks there in the mall. And again, it was something interesting. So to give you more overview on what we had for a snack, I request Mr. Rohan Maharajan to take over this virtual floor. Thank you, Unisa. Good afternoon, sir, and everyone who are present in this virtual meet. I would like to thank you, Elisa, for the lunch. It, it felt so good to have a good meal. Now, as we had finished our lunch, we took some rest and moved to our next destination. As for Elisa said, which took us about one hour, 30 minutes due to the high traffic uh, jam. Even though the map showed us it only to takes 19 minutes, we, uh, after we reached uh, Lipo Mall, Jakarta, we decided to go shopping for at least an hour and met at the top floor of, uh, of, of the mall. But uh, as Elsa said, half of the, half of the group only get to go to mall she was uh, roaming around and going to departments and departments so after uh, one hour of uh, shopping we met at the top floor to have our snacks because we were very hungry so after all the shopping we went to the top floor on the restaurant named tamboa mass cafe restaurant we were welcomed very warmly by the waiter and were taken to the table and the waiter asked what we would like to have and we were so hungry that we impatiently asked him what do what do you have to offer us for snacks he smiled and said there are two special snack i would like to recommend you guys that is q lumper and onde onde we asked him to tell us something about the dishes and he told us q lumper q lumper which literally translates to mud cake is typically made of potatoes flour, eggs, and coconut milk, inspired by Portuguese, caught custard tart, pastries, the natar. The street is sweet and has a soft and creamy texture, and onde onde is a traditional, also known as jian dui in Chinese, is an Indonesian snack made with glutinous rice flour, filled with crushed mung beans, and coated with sesame seeds. These snacks, which is sold by many street, street talkers around the Archipelago is an adaptation on the Chinese Jian Dui recipe. The savory taste of the uh, outer coat and the delicious feeling of crushed mung bean will satisfy your palate, he said. And we ordered these snacks, and it was so good that we lost our words to 
to say. Next slide. And its macro elements of uh, Onde Onde and Q Lumper were protein 5.7 percent, fiber 3.8 percent, sugar 30.2 percent, fat 17.0 percent, carbs 43.4 percent. Excuse me, Dorje. There is one slide missing. Dorje, I will say. Where was? What happened here? It's okay. Let's go to vitamins. Vitamins on the on the and cucumber have vitamin A of twenty five twenty five point zero percent and vitamin C of seventy five point zero percent. Thank you for all this and. Moving on to Unicef. Thank you so much, Rohan, for sharing your experience. This snacks was really heavy, and but it was healthy too. It really kept us full for so long, but not so full that we would miss our dinner and dessert. And for your information, we really did a heavy dinner too. So without any further ado, I would like to request Mr. Riva Starkey to take this virtual floor and share his experience on what we had on dinner. Thank you, Unisa, and good afternoon, everyone. So after having snacks, uh, our next stop was uh, Manu Beach House. It was a, uh, uh, next slide, please. So it was a wonderful place, a uh, nice view and scenario. So after visiting the Manu Beach House, uh, we had some rest and we ordered Ikan goreng with steamed rice in dinner. <coughs> Ikan goreng is a Indonesian dish. Uh, it's a very popular dish in Indonesia. It means uh, fried fish in Indonesian language. A whole piece, fresh and marinated with turmeric powder and cornstarch, is deep fried to the crispy golden. So it is best eaten eaten with the traditional Indonesian steamed rice. So next slide. So let's talk about. Uh, micro elements so talking about the talking about the micro elements uh, composition of carbs was 37.8 percent and fat was 27.9 percent fiber was 0.9 percent and protein was 33.3 percent so moving on composition of uh, mineral so composition of mineral was uh, Potassium was 79.5%, uh, sodium was 13.4%, magnesium is 6.6%, and calcium is 0.4%. So moving on to the composition of vitamins. Hello? Next slide, please. Uh, combustion of min vitamins. Uh, Abby, is vitamin gold slide is not there? Let me describe by itself. Uh, going in line, eh? So, combustion of vitamin was vitamin A was uh, five point nine percent in in ikan goreng and. Uh, steamed rice, Indonesian steamed rice, and vitamin B was uh, composed of vitamin B6, thiamine, and vitamin B12, and total it was composition of vitamin B was 94.1%. Uh, so this was my presentation. Over to you, Yunisa. Thank you so much, viewers, for sharing experience. I really uh, miss, I really remember us bringing two huge glass of milk after that dinner it's really spicy just so that you can imagine we had this incredible idea of uh, having a piece of chili it was there and it was really really spicy but some indonesian local there told us that they need about 10 or 20 of them to make them feel spicy so if you ever visit india do not ever ever believe if any Indonesian local tells you that a dish is not spicy because their tongue is way more used to it than you can ever imagine. So I guess 
Now I will I won't make you wait for long as it is time for some dessert. I request now Mr. Susan Thapa to take this virtual floor and share his experience. Uh, thank you so much, Nisha. Uh, so it's time to have a uh, dessert and uh, from Malang uh, to Pandur, it takes us 17 hour and 7 minute to reach there. Uh, Next slide, please, Abhishek. Mm. Pandor, uh, this is the name of the restaurant. Why we choose, choose this restaurant? Because uh, it is an ideal place for enjoying, uh, for uh, to have desert. This is, this was the ideal place. Uh, after our research, we find this place. Uh, so we decided to go to visit this place and have some desert. Next slide, please. Uh, lapis legit. Uh, lapis means layer. Uh, hence the name of this very popular Indonesian layer cake. Uh, this is a layer cake made of a lot of egg, traditional Indo spices, blending of butter, a classic lapis legit cake. Usually uh, consists of 18 layer of yummy spongy. So let's move toward the composition. Uh, composition of macro elements. Uh, as you can see, the cover thirty-seven point zero percent of uh, fat contained in lapis legit out of uh, total macro elements, and less number of fiber zero point five percent of fiber contained is available in lapis legit uh, out of the total macro elements. Next slide, please, Abhishek. Uh, composition of mineral, 47.2% uh, of sodium contained in lapis legit uh, out of total mineral and 0.4% um, which one is the less 0.4% uh, iron contained in lapis legit out of total mineral. Uh, composition of vitamin, uh, vitamin B contain is contain is higher in lapis legit and vitamin a, which is 36.4 percent which is um, contained in lapis legit uh, out of the total vitamins so after having the desert we decided to uh, go for a night seeing area and we visited to jakarta uh, next slide please uh, uh, jakarta is a city that never sleeps according to our research and we explored the Jakarta at night, uh, see the mountain that have that are very bright, and try to eat local food and see the activity of nightlife in Jakarta. So that was my part. Thank you so much. Over to you, Yunisha. Thank you so much, Susan, for sharing your experience. Now, with that being said, I guess this is end of day six. Uh, I would like to thank you everyone for your presence. And stay tuned for the next day because we are headed towards the most beautiful country in this world. Over to you, the coordinator of day seven. Thank you so much, Nisha. Uh, so, once again, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name is Susan Thapa, and uh, this is today is the last day. Of, this is the last day of our virtual tour. We start our tour from uh, day one. USA and now we are at the last day seven at Nepal. So as a coordinator, I will be introducing to our members and my team are Abhishek Krimal, Borun Rai, Isal Bosgang, Dipesh Parazuli and Ujol Dahal. So in day six, we visited to Indonesia. We had a great lunch here. We explored the authentic dish of Indonesia and visited famous place. So after uh, returning from Indonesia, we decided to explore the Nepali dishes and we went to five different uh, restaurants to have the breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and dessert. Uh, so uh, this was the itinerary of the day. Uh, this was the place where we had our uh, lunch, dinner, snacks, uh, break, uh, breakfast, and uh, dessert. Next slide will be so without doing further delay, 
I would like to call uh, Mr. Abhishek to explain about his presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you so much. So uh, for the last uh, tour of our whole tour, we decided to come to Nepal because after all, home is home. And we really missed uh, our home. We really miss the people here. We really miss the food here, you know, because no matter where we go, no matter what uh, corner of the world we go, no matter how many food items we eat, I think there's no place like home and there's no food like Nepali food. So we decided, so from the airport, we headed straight to Bhaktapur because we were craving a lot of, uh, you know, uh, local food items. So before that, before we did any breakfast, before we decided to, uh, you know, uh, indulge into the deliciousness of Bhaktapurian cuisine, you know, so we decided to uh, tour around Bhaktapur just to, you know, just like a quick scroll to soak up all the energy, to soak up all the culture, because we really missed uh, being around our own people. So we uh, saw some, you know, architecture, beautiful museums, uh, you know, 55 uh, windowed uh, museum, uh, all the temples and all the people. So we sat uh, at the, uh, you know, so we sat on the stairs, as you can see in, in the picture as well. We sat there, we just you know, we had a moment, we had our moment, we uh, really wanted to uh, be in the moment. So we did that. So and after that, we went into the alleys of Bhaktapur just to, uh, you know, spot any uh, like local eatery, just we wanted to, we didn't make any plans to go to a specific place, we just uh, went, went into a random store, a random uh, shop uh, that had been running that had been uh, run by this wonderful woman, uh, for the past 25 years and she had been serving you know all the different sil roti and then tarkaris and then guaramari and then jeriswari for the past 20 25 years and uh, it had the place is very critically acclaimed as well everyone so apparently everyone in the community everyone uh, from this area love the loves the place as well so we decided to order some uh, sil roti and then alu matar curry and as you can see it looks very delicious from the picture itself and it tasted amazing uh, we had uh, such a good time eating this because we really missed uh, Nepali food and we really, really missed uh, being around Nepali people. Uh, so we had a lot of fun eating this and we were so full by the end. Uh, so we did that. And then after that, we, as always, uh, we decided, we just uh, so went into this cute little cafe and we did some research uh, about the nutritional values of uh, sel roti with uh, alu matra as well. So as you can see from the table, uh, all the data is already presented here and on the basis of this table we decided to make um, our own uh, pie charts and bar diagram figures so in this slide you can see the composition of macro elements of say roti and alu matter so you can see uh, it has the highest amount of carbs because you know obviously a uh, roti ha is made from rice flour so that it obviously has a lot of carbs and then alu matter has uh, like potatoes so potato is very you know high in carbohydrates so obviously that and it's very fatty because like sel roti is uh, you know deep fried in uh, a pool of simmering hot oil so that is that and sugar content because uh, sugar is found you know prominently in sel roti as well so there was that and then the next one is the composition of minerals you know as you can see it has the highest amount of potassium as well and moving on with the vitamins it has the highest amount of um, vitamin a so it's very you know very healthy i think it's very uh, uh, nutritious and you definitely get a lot of nutrition from uh, devouring uh, the, the food items that we ordered so that was my part so thank you so much uh, Susan now it's over to you thank you so much Abhishek, for your presentation uh, now I would like to call Barun Rai uh, to share his experience, experience thank you so much Thank you, Sudan. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. This is me, Boron Rai, and I'm going to share the experience uh, that we had uh, in, uh, Hello, you? in Nepal. So, uh, having a delicious uh, breakfast in Bhaktapur Darbari Square, uh, we planned uh, to move uh, uh, Zimbu Thakali, um, and uh, uh, it was not uh, so far. Uh, and uh, at the Oh, as per research, this uh, restaurant is quite uh, famous, and it has the gra uh, It has a unique uh, uh, 
unique flavor, aroma, and gratifying taste of Himalayas. This restaurant uh, also built uh, under one roof, so uh, we like it more and decided to go there. So we ordered a uh, Thakali Khana set uh, and yogurt. Um, the Thakali Khana set, uh, especially this uh, you know, food, is originated from the Thakkhola region of the Mustang district in Nepal. Uh, this uh, meal consists of uh, locally ground buckwheat, uh, barley, rice, maize, dal. A kind of dal is also made from the uh, dried ground buckwheat leaves. Also others, special pickles of gundruk and radish, carrot, pickles, etc. And ghee are also included. Uh, Thakali meal is collectively made of all of these food items. Uh, this food basically comp comprises uh, dal bath, tarkari, lentil, rice and vegetable with meat and also for non-vegetarians. And, uh, and in dessert, it includes a sweet cord. Next slide. And the <coughs> table containing the nutrients values. Uh, as, as given, the thakali um, khanasit and yogurt, if the protein is uh, uh, 81.45 uh, in the thogali acid and 10 in yogurt and the carbohydrates 157.5 one, uh, in thogali acid and 3.6 in yogurt and uh, the fat is uh, 15.77 in thogali acid and 0 in yogurt and uh, fiber is 23.92 in thogali acid sorry fat is 0 0.4 in yogurt and in, and the fiber is 23.92 in thogali khana set and zero in yogurt and the sugar is 3.63 uh, percent uh, uh, in thogali khana set and 3.2 percent in yogurt and the <coughs> composition of minerals is calcium uh, 318.82 uh, uh, in thogali khana set and the uh, 11 in yogurt and in a uh, and we can see 318.82 uh, in iron in thogali khana set and 141 in yogurt and 318.82 in sodium uh, sodium in thogali khana set and 36 in yogurt and in magnesium uh, it consists of 318 318.82 uh, in thogali khana set and 2 in yogurt and the vitamins as uh, uh, in vitamins uh, A a, uh, 2, 2100 in thogali khana set and zero in yogurt vitamin b consists of 1800 and uh, five in yogurt 1800 in thogali khana set and five in yogurt vitamin c 17.64 vitamin c in thogali khana set and zero in yogurt and one in vitamin d and zero in yogurt and the composition of macro element elements uh, is uh, <coughs> Thakali khana seed and yogurt, we have composite. Uh, so uh, sugar con uh, sugar con contains uh, one point seven percent and fiber contains of ten point nine percent and the fat is seven point two percent and the protein is eight point six percent and the highest is carbohydrates which is uh, seventy one point seven percent. Next slide. And the composition of minerals. Uh, is uh, of thakali khana seed and yogurt is uh, uh, it's all equal which is 20 percent of magnesium uh, 20 percent of sodium 20 percent of iron calcium by 20 percent and potassium by 20 percent okay thank you so uh, oh, vitamins N next slide please And the composition of vitamins of thakali khana set and yogurt is uh, uh, with the least is uh, vitamin C, which is 0.5%. And uh, we can see uh, as the same ratio of A and B uh, from vitamin A, it's 53.6%. And from vitamin B, it's 45.9%. Thank you. By saying this much, I want to give the voucher floor back to Susan. Thank you all for paying attention. Thank you so much, Borun, for your presentation. Uh, <coughs> I like to call uh, Mr. Guragai to share his experience through the presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan. So after having having our 
Pali lunch. So we moved to a wonderful city called Lalitpur. So it's a third city of Kathmandu Valley. So Lalitpur is a third largest city of Nepal, which is local place famous for local cuisines, culture, and the people are very interactive. So, so after go, after having going there, we roam there. We roam around the Lalitpur. We roam out the Lalitpur Darbar Square. So net temples, so lake, so ponds. So after that, we have we ha we're hungry, and that's we gonna have some snacks. So, so first of all, so we gotta go to the cafe called Mat Maitri. So after that, we had a we ordered a buff momo with pickle. So buff momo. Both Momo, Momo is st stand out among the most most consumed dish in Nepal. Also known as dumpling, made with spoonful of stuffing wrapped in dough. Do. It is native to Nepal and Tibet. Momo is initially a Newari food in Kathmandu Valley and later introduced to Tibet. So its type is like a dumpling. So so place of origin nepal tibet and we can have uh, it in various variation steam momo kote momo fry momo si momo zol momo so ingredients used in momo are meat chicken vegetables wheat flour and garlic so usually it is served with hot with seasonal pickle of different types so the pickle was very nice so it is usually eaten as a snack in Nepal. So let's talk about the elements, the, the micro elements. So talking about the micro elements, both more mostly contain protein, which is 51.8%, followed by fat, 26.6%, and carbs, 18.6%. Sugar and fiber has the lowest composition 2.7 and 0.3 percent respectively so talking about the composition of minerals buff momo has ma maximum amount of sodium which is which is 45.1 percent followed by calcium 20 28.8 percent and iron 13.9 percent finally potassium has the lowest amount which is 12.2 percent buff momo consists consist maximum amount of vitamin c which is 76.5 percent followed by vitamin b 17.6 percent and vitamin a is least 5.9 so talking about the macro element so so let's talk about the another snacks we had yomori uh, this is my favorite and my friend, friends are also enjoyed this yomori so yomori it is a shrimp dump, dumpling that consists of an external coverage of rice rice flour with sweet fill, filling such as chaku or kua the delicacies plays a very important role in newa community and is a key part of the festival of yomori pune best place for delicious yomori in Kathmandu are Yomori Corner, the Village Cafe, Yomori Cafe, and Gary Restaurant. So we had in this in a Maitri Cafe in Parson, Lalitpur. So this is also kind of dumplings. So this uh, origin is from Nepal. And variation of Yomori is we can have a Yomori with chaku, cheese, chocolate, kwa. It is so many ingredients of ingredients of Yomori are rice flour, sugar, ghee, milk water, sisma seed, and kwa chaku. So, Newari community celebrate Yomori Pune in Yomori Pune Sorry. New Yomori Pune on a full moon day by making a del delicious Yomori. So, let's talk about uh, macro elements. So talking about the macro elements of of yomori, it has maximum carbs of eighty one point one percent, followed by sugar and protein, 
with 7% fat and fiber has a least composition which is 3% and 1.9 respectively. So humor contains 59, 56% of calcium, 27.9% of sodium and 16.1 iron. Lastly, talking about the vitamins, it contains 80% of vitamin B and 20 vitamin 20% of vitamin D. So that much. So back to Mr. Thapa. Thank you so much, Nisar, for your presentation. Uh, now I would like to call Mr. Dipesh Parajudi. Uh, to continue this presentation. Thank you so much. Deepish, Timro, Mike, Tom, Akis, and sound name. Earphone Lavarako by Nicolano. Timra, how was the Ida sign? Sunikitana. Hello? No, bye bye. How was that? Hello? Yes, the pages, you can continue. At hours. You can continue. Hello? Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Susan Thapa. After spending some time in Lalitpur, uh, we headed we headed for Kirtipur and it was around half an hour riding by bus. We reach our destination. Next slide. And we decide to visit temple of Bag Bhairav. Uh, before having dinner, we walk through brick prop uh, street line with the typical red house and the tile, tile roof. Roaming around the temple, enjoying such a beautiful scene was really worth the time. By the time we were hang hungry as a wolf and so consulted with a local guy for a good restaurant and taking his advice we were to the Sasato restaurant which was a hit a hit far from the busy and crowded street and we were warmly welcomed by the waiter who were wearing traditional Newari uniform next slide Oh. And we didn't waste the we didn't waste the time and checking the menu and order Newari Khaza set and Chang right away. We believe me, the food was delicious and the mouth watering and it was nothing like I ever had. The combi the combination of Chura, Chotamari, Alutama, Soila, Botmas and Jujudau, Bara and the many other dishes in a single single plate along with the chang just tasted heavenly after having a dinner and we decide we decide to we decide to do some research on newari khaza said and chang for our health conscious it's like Next slide. Let's talk about the composition of micro element in Nevari Khaza said. Well, it consists of 54.3% of protein, where is 18% of carbohydrate, carbohydrate and the fat 12.7%, where is fiber has 4.0% and the sugar 10.9% and the talking about the composition of the composition of minerals in nevari khaza said well it consists of it consists of 
6.2 percent potassium, whereas 1.5 percent of calcium, and and 24.1 percent of sodium, where the magnesium 0.7 percent. Uh, next slide. And and the last, the talking about the composition of micro element chain, where where is um, the carbohydrate has 88.5 percent, where is the port the protein had 8.8 percent, and the sugar has 2.7 percent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dibesh, for your presentation. Uh, now I would like to call our last presenter, Mr. Ujjal Dahal. Over to you, Ujjal. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sujal. Thank you, Sujal. And as you all said that we had a pretty much happy uh, dinner uh, on Never Cuisine, a combination of Never Cuisine. And as Dibesh mentioned that we had Juju the whole day, but as of our information, it was served in plastic cups that it would, couldn't give us the authentic taste. So we're carving some authentic flavor of juzudo. That's why we uh, decided to go to Bhaktipur from Kritipur. It takes around 44 minutes as per Google Map, but it took us around uh, one hour as uh, of traffic. Uh, then next, next slide, please. And uh, here we are, the city of Bhaktipur, the place where we begin our journey in Nepal. Um, in order to try the authentic juju dough, also known as the king yogurt, uh, in Newari, um, uh, we went to Harai store Bhaktapur, as it is too popular for juju dough in Bhaktapur area, as it serves traditional juju dough in authentic clay pots. Um, um, juju dough is specially made by boiling buffalo milk in a clay pot and leaving it to ferment. It is characterized by its rich flavor and a unique creamy texture, which is thick enough not to drop off when the pot is thrown inside, upside down. As in order to get this texture, we have to travel from Kritipur to Bhaktipur. As uh, the yogurt which we were served in Kritipur was served in uh, plastic cups and it was kind of messy and uh, was more of liquid form and didn't didn't consist of this texture. So uh, we tried juju dough for our dessert as there is always a place for dessert in our stomach and next slide please for dessert we came for the king of court juju dough in Bhaktipur. Uh, next slide um, table content for the nutrition value okay my, um, the macro elements for juju dough are proteins are 15.55 uh, percent the carbs were 51.64 percent fat 7 percent fiber 3.9 and sugar content was 34.45 percent and as of minerals uh, we have um, calcium um, 296 uh, milligram potassium 631 sodium 151 and there were no magnesium and of vitamin we have vitamin a 3.4 are you vitamin b 1.6 vitamin c 4.3 and vitamin D 22.1 And um, as you can see in the pie chart too, the data that I just provided, provided you, the protein were 25.1%, the carbs were 33.7%, the fats were 7.4% and the sugar content was a bit high and it was 33.7% as it was too sweet for the cod. And uh, thank you and this was our trip to Bhaktapur and it was the last slide. Thank you. And I'd like to hand it over to the coordinator, please. Thank you so much, uh, Ujjal, for presenting your presentation. Uh, now I'd like to uh, call Mr. Abhishek to continue this presentation. Thank you so much, Susan, for uh, wonderfully uh, you know, coordinating the whole event. So I think we've come to the end of the session. So thank you so much, everyone, for being such wonderful participants. I think all of you did a very wonderful job. And, 
you know, we had a lot of fun uh, making this presentation and all thanks to Ravi sir for constantly mentoring us, for constantly uh, giving us feedbacks uh, when we, you know, when we needed them the most. So uh, thank you so much, Ravi sir, for teaching us all the tools and techniques and all the strategies to make this presentation come to life. And we would like to thank all the uh, faculty members who are present here, who are who have been listening to us for the past three in almost three and a half hours. So thank you for being so patient. And, you know, I think uh, we learned so much from this presentation. We learned a lot of techniques and a lot of uh, skills that will carry on, uh, that will carry you know, throughout our whole career in this, I think, this hospitality industry. So uh, thank you so much for all the knowledge, Ravi, sir. So uh, with that being said, I would like to officially conclude this meeting. So uh, if uh, Ravi, sir, wants to speak or give us any feedback, uh, sir, we're yeah, uh, congratulations to everybody. Now time to cheer up. Everyone open your microphone and clap for each other, please. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, work. Wonderful work. So the only missing part in the entire presentation is fasting. Don't eat too much. Learn to fast a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's always good to fast. Okay, with that note, uh, again, congratulations for making it uh, one of a nice event. It was beautiful, beautifully executed. I can see a plenty of your effort, time, uh, preparation that has gone into making this event. Uh, somewhere, only the part uh, that I would insist is your data has to be authentic. Uh, some of you have generalized the data. Uh, please, in the future, if you're making this presentation anywhere, try to work on the authentic data set. Um, that's still my part. And some of you have considered my feedback in the class presentation. Some of you still neglected it, but then it's still OK. It was a learning journey. Mm, you, you have done it really amazing work. Once again, congratulations to every one of you. You made it a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so sir. Much. Yeah. I'll be sending you your recording after I get it. All right? OK, sir. OK. Have a great day. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Have a great day, sir. Also, thoroughly enjoyed your presentation. He really loved it. Thank you, sir. So who? Sara, sir. He was with us. Oh, throughout the program, and he thoroughly enjoyed it. Tara, sir, would you like to say a few words, maybe? Yeah, Tara, sir. We miss you. Okay, first of all, uh, good afternoon to all. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon sir. sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, really, I enjoyed And uh, thank you for inviting me uh, in your session. And uh, I traveled from uh, USA to Nepal. And... Uh, I had a lamb chop uh, and nasi goreng and uh, avocado on toast, so many things. I like it. Thank you very much. And I felt that uh, now uh, I am in the Salty Crown Plaza. When I was in the Salty Crown Plaza, all of your menu items I had. So I felt like that. And just a little bit uh, suggestion about uh, uh, already Ravi sir said about the fasting. Yes, one part is there. Maybe a dessert uh, you should not uh, keep because already dinner is there. And maybe you can make some uh, uh, night menu as well. Uh, so these are the things uh, you have to learn. And really I enjoyed and uh, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it for your hard work. I have to say hard work and your determination uh, towards the work. Uh, once again, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. OK, you, sir. that's all for the day. Uh, enjoy, have a great fun, and I wish you all the best for your exams. Thank you, so Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, bye, yeah, bye. bye. bye sir. Because the record was Rako. Sorry, Leona. <laughs>